Share It Goes to the Movies is a free podcast made possible by Rich's lack of a social life, as well as our amazing supporters. For as little as $1 a month, you can access tons of extra content each week. Visit JaredGoesToTheMovies.com and click support us. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. I'm Jared Reddick. And this is a podcast. Jarrett goes to the movies. Hopefully you have seen or heard one of my many musical endeavors. And if you have, then you know how much I love movies. This is movie commentary with no movie knowledge. This podcast is me and my friend Rich talking about movies that we like. But my name's on it because I'm famous. This is Jarrett goes to the movies. Still. Okay, we're starting now. So, so glad you called. I'm so glad you were free. Go ahead, I... I love your eyes. Okay. Uh, now what? Huh? Cut my balls. Okay. Uh, yes. All right. I can do that. Uh, oh, there it is. There we oh. go. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's slow it down. Let's slow it down. Okay. Let's slow it down. There we go. What's that? That's good. Nice and slow. See? I feel good. Yeah. No. Yeah. I want to go fast. You want to go fast? Yeah. Oh. Fast. Oh. 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 Yeah. No. Oh. 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 Oh
an elope bird in the cupboard. These That's, are the rhymes you're going with? I'm doing Dr. Seuss. Okay. Is that a real one? Have you not read him? Um, have you ever seen a walk swap it, with, with a, a, a walk it in my pocket? pocket? Yeah. yeah, he it, it just all made up words and shit. Mm. I could act like I could recite it. But you should put that in the Wikipedia What's that? page that we now have. What? That I quoted Dr. Seuss? I <laughs> quoted him badly. <laughs> I was trying to segue into the Wikipedia. You're just, we you're, have Wikipedia you're now. You're so proud of the Wikipedia. It's good. We got a Wikipedia page. You worked really hard on it. An episode list. Yeah, I worked really hard on it. Well, I want to get back to what I was talking about. Okay. Uh, I uh, So I had a sty in my eye, and I thought I had pink eye. And I'm not just trying to rhyme everything with eye, by the way. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Um, you can't rhyme eye with eye unless you're R. Kelly. <laughs> then you can fucking get re- you can fucking get away with any peeing on girls. Can I get some pee pee? Can I get some poo poo? <laughs> oh, Dave Chappelle's the best. Um, hi Case. Uh, Ryan the intern is here. Hey! hey, it's her first show since she became Ryan the intern. Yes, it is. Did you fucking go? But I'm not aiming this at. I'm looking at Rich. This is terrible. Rich. Did you go get the fan from Jack's room and then just aim it at you? It has it's- to be pointed at someone in the room, and right. I figured. I'm the one that got it. He went and got it. Okay, I understand. Because we did split up shit. I went and got some beers, and you went and got the fan, That's and true. I'm going to drink the beer so you get yeah. the cool air. Rich got Second. to experience a very like small snippet of what it'd be like to be married to me. You go, hey, hey well, what if y'all go get the fan real quick while I go get the beers? And I just like sat there, and he's like, I'll go get the fan. Okay, I guess that's on me. Uh, Ryan, it's good to have you here. It's good to be here. Ryan's doing a bunch of stuff for the show and for... Uh, bowling for soup and tons of stuff and yep. half the time I tell you you have to do some shit the next day and then you just go do you need me today? almost on the dot every single day never mind I don't need you anymore yeah. you can have the day off I'm like yeah. great okay. but she also gets the uh, the thing Wait, can I like, call her and have her do stuff? She get well I don't know let's not fucking get crazy <laughs> You pay her, but at uh, like twelve thirty at night, she also gets the hey. I'm drinking with your dad. Can you go uh, over and let the dogs out for me real quick? <laughs> she has to get out of bed and go to the house. And, yeah, exactly. That that actually happened. And what's funny is, is I had her texted parent, her. her. Parents will call her. Oh, yeah. I'll just call Ryan. Yeah. No. Well, I, I had texted her. And he goes, she didn't answer you back yet. And I go, no. And he's just like, okay, just a second. I'm like, dude, you really don't have to call her. She's on her way here. Right now. <laughs> okay. Yep. That's Guess scary that's how Dan it works. For you. Yeah. yeah, there he goes. Well, her her parents are on a. Uh, Gary did a uh, surprise vacation for her mom, mm-hmm. and tried to do the thing where they just like go to the airport and go somewhere, and then he chickened out a couple of days before because he wanted he her to have nervous. he wanted her to have the right clothes. I'm with that. I think the surprise vacation thing's horrible. I oh, think yeah. you could you could pack for me. I bet for a hotel all inclusive in Mexico with a pool, 100 percent easy. You know what, though? We're different. I mean, like, I no, wear... No, we're not. We wear the exact same outfit every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm saying we're dirt. different as a couple. Like, I dress like I'm in Simple Plan, and you dress, dress like... like I'm in Simple Plan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but, like, one of the ones that wears pants, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's it. Pants so, and a black t-shirt. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. Well, anyway, I'm glad we're all here, and uh, later on we'll do five questions with one of our great supporters, Wendy. God damn it. Tim is fucking calling me on Messenger. Hang on, let's put this on. All right, let's go. What do you want, Tim? We're fucking in the middle of talking about something. What? Yeah, you're live. Yeah, fuck it. We'll do it live. Do it live. Okay, fast forward me then. (laughs) (laughs) That's all he wants to say is that I was being a dick because I fast forwarded him in the last episode. (laughs) (laughs) So he fucking told you, he's like been interrupting you the whole goddamn night. Like, oh, fuck. And then he keeps texting me. I'm trying to have a conversation with, with my friend Jared over here. Tim to my neighbor, chiming in. Hey, no, no I think having him, having him call in could be a new feature, though. Uh, don't, don't tell him that. Oh, we just got to plan it out, right? What do you think about Tim? Uh, no. Oh, you don't, you don't want to do it? Sorry, Tim, no. but Tim thinks no. <laughs> Tim you said call no. Him. What? I just find it funny. He it's finds it funny, but no, you can't call I have him. Tim in stereo right now. All right. Bye, Tim. All right. All in all, you're just another dick with no balls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But well, I'm fucking drinking. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tim told my neighbor. Okay. I don't even yes. remember what we were talking about, but uh, let's get back to the show. We are going to keep mentioning you if you do share our episodes from our Facebook page. But we are moving that to the end of the show so that the first part of our show is just not a fucking running list of names for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. um, so by all means, please keep sharing our Facebook post. It's helping. It's, it's absolutely it's, helping us grow. 
Yeah. I can already awesome. see it. Also, I do want to say something. I always ask for reviews, and we did come into a question Ashley C. asked about reviewing on Podbean, and we don't think that's actually a thing. So those iTunes reviews do mean a lot. Yes. And, and if whomever you are listening to the podcast through that service, if there's a way for you to rate us and to subscribe and to review, all three of those things are badass. So thank you guys so very much. We have a new supporter, Whitley Webb. Uh, Whitley Webb now has the access to tons of shit. Just for the week. For the week. That's right. Um, <laughs> tons of shit for the week. Tons of shit for the week. Okay. Well, that's for a buck. And that's then how much to, to Five get Five bucks and you get the archive. And we're at show 80. Right. You know? So you get it's fucking, 80 That's uh, like 100, outtakes. over 160 hours not 160, uh, over 100. Oh, no, we've, I'm talking about the episodes. Yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. God damn it. This is what I meant. And not episode. God damn it. <laughs> Our executive producers all uh, support us on Patreon, and they're awesome. They include David Murray, Ashley C., Sheila Ray Wonder, Wendy Croft, who will be doing five questions. Our executive producers get to do a uh, thing called five questions in a rotating situation. David Dooley, <laughs> Diane Small, Big Chris Whitehead, Lucy Murray, right on James, who I now eat emo with all the time <laughs> i fucking love that dude it's so awesome uh eddie weiss who sent me the shirt that i'm wearing right now yeah in the mail and uh, for no reason he Is just said just he, some it's a it's like a bar in arizona it's a bar in arizona that has their own pittsburgh steelers fan club right so he was like in the bar and saw that they sold them or whatever it was nice enough to pick me one up so that's awesome um you know, and I've gained some weight, so I don't really have... I got a limited wardrobe, you know? So he, like, asked me what size I needed right. to ship fits. Uh, Eddie, I don't really like any teams, but you can just send me random t-shirts. It's fine. Eddie, don't listen to him. <laughs> Colonblowband.com. Uh, Lisa Wenzel, Sean Umbeck, Joel Robinson, Nigel Watson, Greg Pascal, Chris Holt, Tyler McCullough, Abby Borden, Mark Ryan, Sweet Hirsch, yeah. Josh Millman, Jason Randall and Brayden Hazel. Thank you guys so very much. This week we're talking about the movie Bridesmaids. It came out in 2011. And uh, here is the synopsis. A competition between the maid of honor and a bridesmaid over who is the bride's best friend threatens to upend the life of an out-of-work pastry chef. Pretty good synopsis, yeah, not actually. Bad. Not so bad at all. But of course, uh, Rich has his own fucking synopsis for this and uh, it will be great to hear that right now <laughs> bridesmaids the first ever american police officer with an english accent talks his loser of a girlfriend into getting off her ass and doing something productive after she completely screws up her best friend's wedding but don't worry the wedding was saved by china phillips <laughs> Well, Isn't he deal? Irish? I don't think he's Irish. No, he's English? Not English. Yeah, I think English. I don't think so. Yeah. He's definitely not Irish. Really? I just thought it sounded like a British accent he was trying was to Was it? I don't know why. I thought he sounded weird. Right. Is he Different. actually from over there or was <laughs> yeah, he? He's, yeah. He's on a lot of British comedies. Oh, okay. Good for him. Well, let's talk about him then. Let's talk about the cast of Bridesmaids. All right. Uh, Bridesmaids includes Kristen Wiig as the star Annie. It um, does. This is not to be confused with Little Orphan Annie. Or Annie Oakley. Or Annie, no. <laughs> He's Irish. That's not, Is he Irish? Oh, well, there no. you go. God damn it. Let's not argue with her anymore. <laughs> uh, Kristen Wiig is like, I swear, she as far as in my world, next to my wife, who is the hottest and funniest woman I've ever met, Kristen Wiig is second place in both categories. Gotcha. I fucking love her. I think we knew that. Love her yes because she just looks like a regular chick and she's super funny and mm -hmm. you know she's like right at that ripe age it's a body of a 12 year old yep you think so yeah you didn't like the opening scene or whatever when she's like fake sexing with uh with uh john ham from the fake pittsburgh sexy. stealings because yeah. i i'll be honest like as we as i was watching it my wife I was a little uncomfortable because i was i was Did thinking you get a boner no those are few and far between but um <laughs> No, I, I was uh, I was more just like, I wonder which ones of those sounds are real. Like, which ones she <laughs> really makes. Is it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Super weird. I know. All oh, of... I didn't even put John Hamm on the cast. Why wouldn't you have done that? I don't know. He, I don't even... Was he even get credited? He should. He's a big part of the movie. I didn't but... see him in the list to put him on there. Though. Oh, I don't know. John Hamm plays the... Fucking uh, hilarious. Play, he plays the fuck buddy. That you... guy's really funny. Anyway. Well, hang on. It's funnier... 
if you know him from Mad Men. Did I, you ever I watch I was Mad literally Men? about to say, you probably watched Mad Men, huh? Oh my God, it was one of my favorite shows. Nothing fucking happens in that show at all. No, that's the whole thing. It Nothing happens, but I don't know. It's so gripping. It's crazy. I skipped over finishing my Kristen Wiig thing. Casey even... <laughs> Wait, we, you want to have sex with Kristen No, Wiig? no, no, no. no. She is seriously fucking hilarious all the time. Like, you even think that. We watched a video She's today funny. where just yeah. like she, shit that she can do with her face. I would say girls normally aren't funny and she's she's very funny. Yeah. That's a really weird yeah, thing to say. Yeah, that is a really weird thing to say. I'm sorry. Like the funniest no, member of our cast is a girl. Yeah, she is, is she is irregularly funny. Like yeah. not many people are this funny. Well, I gained a few mm. pounds I'm I had to be to survive in this world. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. No. I've been fighting that battle since the 5th grade. <laughs> Then I then I took some I got, time off in my twenties. I got 20s. real fat after me and Jared got together, but I feel like if we broke up, like I'd still stand a chance in the dating game. You know what I mean? Like I just couldn't do it on Tinder. I have to come naturally. <laughs> but seriously, think about all the SNL characters. Yeah, that were women. About twenty to thirty percent of those women are actually fun. I don't oh, we, think that's true. Actually, I think maybe less. Yeah, really? right. But yeah. hold on, Tina Fey's fucking hilarious. Can I, but can I also say? But she's one of those. Very tiny percentage. In all fairness, funny. though, a large percentage of the male characters weren't funny either. Mm-hmm. I don't you disagree. Know? And also, I fucking really fucked up the beginning of the show. <laughs> Why? Because did I introduce Ryan the intern? Yeah. No. Yes. Not yes. Yet. yes. Oh, you did? did. Oh, yes. I did. We all okay. clapped and yeah. said yay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Do you remember that time I thought I fucked up the beginning of the show, but I didn't? <laughs> I fucking am <laughs> nailing this goddamn podcast right now. I'm killing it. But You're I, exceeding your own expectations. Dude, Anthony Michael Hall was a fucking cast member of Saturday Night Live. Anthony yeah. Michael Hall has not been funny since Weird Science. No, I, I like him. He's great. Whatever. Johnny be good. I, you know what? Fuck it. Like, everybody, like, what? I don't care, Rich. <laughs> but he's not fucking funny. Robert Downey Jr. wasn't funny back then. He was just a good actor. He's funny now because he has the confidence to be able to deliver things in a funny way. That's true. Dennis Quaid's brother, Randy Quaid. He's funny as Eddie, and he's been, done a couple of... <laughs> it's funny when you watch him butt fuck his wife with a fucking mask of a politician on on the internet. That's hilarious. Not funny on Saturday Night Live. If you don't know, Do you know what, what I mean? <laughs> so the, what I'm saying is, is that, yeah, I mean, you are right. There have been a... Jane Curtin... Molly from, Shannon. But Jane Curtin from the original cast, fucking hilarious. Molly Shannon, always funny. I think Rachel Dratch is super funny. Rachel she's Dratch was funny. Obviously, Tina Fey. Maya Rudolph's in this. She's funny. She's funny. No, okay. no, no, no. I think she's super no, funny. No, yeah, she's, she's not funny. funny. Maya Rudolph is actually really funny. No, she's, she's so not. funny. She's I think not funny. you have a bad taste. I think you're funny. She's, 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 she's fucking funny. She's, she's a decent, and when I say decent, I mean this in a Amy positive po- way. Amy Poehler. She's a decent actress. Amy Poehler's fucking funny. Mm-hmm. Amy Poehler, Kristen Wiig, Tina Fey. I think that's literally the only ones. Well, Maybe Molly, Molly Shannon. Molly Shannon is hysterical. I don't know. She's just being stupid. I don't think that's funny. She just Jane, you oh, ignorant but slut. Sh- but that shit that's was funny. That's not her being I funny. Know. That's Dan Aykroyd She being was funny. hilarious in that bit. I don't think bit. she was that funny. She, plus okay, she, but she was in, was funny then because it wasn't really done She's playing the straight man. Plus she showed her boobs and how to beat the high cost of living. And I was oh, only like seven. <laughs> they were fucking great. I, cool. I don't accept that because of all the other ones you think they're great that weren't great. You know what? Just let him accept mediocre. It like, gets me through pretty no. well. Okay? <laughs> Listen, boobs are boobs. <laughs> I'm not going to change it. I just like them. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm like a fucking buffet goer. You know what I mean? Never. Like, no, you're literally not, though. I don't like buffets. <laughs> <laughs> but I like buffets. I don't. Hold on. Only me, buffet titties. Let, like, me, <laughs> let me back up. I don't not like buffets. Do you guys have any titties? It's just not my fucking favorite. <laughs> It's a titty bar. Well, because the problem is with buffets is is that I just don't do it right. Like I can't get <laughs> clearly not. I can't get past the goddamn kids section. You know what I mean? There's like I'm like. <laughs> Are there wafers in that pudding? No, it's yeah. It's like, it's like uh, I'll get back to the table and, and it'll be and like there's a dude that you know that's with us or whatever. It's like, dude, did you get some lobster claws and some you know? So they got fucking filet mignon. They just cook it to however you like it over there. And I got, I didn't make it past the fucking corn nuggets and the cheese pizza. You know what I'm real good at? Buffets. Even when we go on vacation. You get a tiny you bit do so, of She everything. does something different every day. I find one fucking... Th- I find the crepe station on our last vacation. I ate it every goddamn morning. <laughs> well, in Mexico, I get a little... It gets a little sketchy, so like I'll eventually just eat like rice and salsa because I just don't want to die. Uh, okay, so we talked about John Hamm, who was in Mad Men, does Cadillac commercials or some shit. Chris O'Dowd, you're saying, is in like British comedies and stuff? Yeah. I like him. I, I thought it was a, a good choice for like a... 
I thought it was interesting the juxtaposition of the fuck buddy being like the this like insanely hot like attractive right. male and he's so rich lead like, guy or yeah. whatever and then you the 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 male interest in the movie is police salary you know not that there's anything wrong with that but I'm saying like right. that's the point is like he's a, a blue collar right like curly headed normal looking normal dude. looking dude that lives in a fucking you know one bedroom pineapple. house and he lives in a pineapple under the sea that's right um <laughs> anyway i thought that was a really funny aspect of the writing of the show and and you know maybe some people didn't notice that i liked him i, I thought they worked well together as a couple all right so maya rudolph let's get into this and uh she plays lily and the bride i'm being completely fucking honest when i say mm-hmm. this the entire time she was on Saturday Night Live, I did not know that she was black. She's like half black or something. I know. I did not know that. Oh, really? Yeah. I had she no played idea. Whitney Houston and Oprah. <laughs> yeah. I just thought that she was really good at like fucking <laughs> playing on black African-American what do you mean women. That? No, that's what I'm saying. Like anyway. And then there's one movie that she did where like her parents came in and her parents were black. And I was just like, oh shit, she's black. And Casey's like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know that. Anyway, I think oh she's awesome. God. I think she's so funny. And she, I think she's a good actress. I just don't think Rebel she's Wilson good. is in this, and my wife loves Rebel Wilson. She is my favorite ever. She is really fucking funny in this movie. If I have a spirit animal, it is her. Yeah, she is I would great. say yes. She is hysterical. She is great. And, and part of what makes her character really funny is is that, and I think, I think movies are really, really good at this these days. And especially to Americans, when you just put that random English. So I think it's a difference between the police officer in this movie and her. The delivery of her English accent and the brother's English accent makes the jokes even that much more funny. Agreed. Ellie Kemper plays Becca. Now, um, Uh, I didn't know who she was. but she uh, The Office? Okay, so The Office. Kimmy Schmidt. Kimmy Schmidt. Now, Casey's watching a new show with her. Kimmy Schmidt. Oh. Okay. Do you like that so show? Or? Yeah, I like the first, it, but the you, first season was excellent. Jarrett the second won't like season it. lost me a little mm-hmm. bit. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, the first season. I watch it in the bathtub now. <laughs> Which is most of her day. Right. Yeah, so, I like a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> so Ellie Kemper's in this. Melissa McCarthy, this is her breakout movie, right? Like she got so much attention from this. She was my favorite character in this movie. She absolutely killed it. I was saying that it's so funny because I think this was one of the first movies I ever saw her in. So watching it now, I feel like I was like less funny than the first time I saw it because I'd never seen her character before. Right. But the first time I saw this, like I died every time she freaking yeah, said anything. Yeah, watching it now, I'm going, why is she doing Sean Spitzer? I mean, I like cry laughing the first time I saw this every time she would speak and that stupid puppies and all the things. Yeah. And, oh no, my gosh. she was hysterical. Absolutely. I think everything she does is funny. You know, it was cool. I didn't know this, but the guy, Ben Falcon... It's her husband. Is her husband. Oh, the, yeah. The, and the he air plays marshal. the air marshal. Right. So it was cool to just watch them do the back and forth. Well, we haven't looked. And I looked later and like apparently he's in like most of her movies, which is funny because, you know, he directs a lot of them, too. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah. He, he is yeah. definitely in a, a bunch of them. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, Melissa McCarthy, what I first know her from is uh, Gilmore Girls, but she wasn't this character. Ah, oh, really? Gotcha. Uh-huh. Wow. Well, she definitely got everybody's attention in this. She's... I really like the girl from the 80s show, too. What's her name? Oh, the girl from uh, Reno 911? Oh, yeah. I guess she was on that, too. Yeah. Right? yeah. The Goldbergs. Oh, yeah. The mom oh, from the Goldbergs. That's the mom from yeah. the Goldbergs, yeah. You're right. Yeah, and, she's really funny, too. And uh, Haley Oranthea, the daughter in that, used to babysit my children. I knew there was some connection. That's right. And, and you have the man with the plan connection too, right? Yes. With Joey Tribbiani? Yes, the kid, the boy on Man with the Plan is my daughter's best friend's brother. I like hyper analyze him now because I watched the show. Yeah. It's it's funny because they'll he'll, you know, come out to the car when I drop her off or whatever. It's just like <laughs> so there's that little kid from that show, you know. It's, do you watch it? Uh, I've watched it with the kids or whatever. It's actually pretty good. It it took a minute for it to find its... It definitely took a minute. It, but it, I like everything that Joey Tribbiani does. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You don't hate that. I love him. Does like, anybody anything hate friends? In. Does anybody no. hate friends? No, I don't think anybody hates friends. No. That's not possible. And Joey's your favorite character off for friends, right? It has to be. If you watch the, all all episodes. No, mine's Phoebe. I'm about to say Phoebe. What? Mm-hmm. No, mm. Joey. I Must be a male wrong. thing then. No, mine's definitely Courtney Cox. (laughs) (laughs) He called me late, and we hung out. It wasn't like a big deal. And you know what? It was fun. Ew, you had sex with him. We had an adult sleepover. 
Oh, did you let him sleep over in your mouth? <laughs> Annie. I'm sorry. You're unbelievable. <laughs> he kept, like, putting it near my face. <laughs> they do that, don't they? Why do they do that? Let us offer. If we don't Please. offer... We're supposed to slap it away. <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a ton of this that's ad-libbed. You oh, know? God, yeah. Because... You, and they were so good about it. You oh, can yeah, tell it was ad lib. They're and both they were Saturday so Night Live people. I think what's fun about that is, is like anytime, like improv stuff like that, you can tell they're trying to make each other laugh or right. whatever. Yeah. And like, makes it look more real. It does. Yeah. Absolutely. Because that that's little, a real conversation that you would have with your friend. At, exactly. The little subtle breakfast. crack ups and trying to get into that next line or whatever. It, it, it really did seem like it was actually happening. So, what's the protocol for this, Casey? I what? can't ask Ryan because she's 16 or whatever. How she's 17. 17. Yeah. What's the protocol for... I don't think there is a protocol. Well, I mean, they're complaining that, that the guy is being a little too aggressive. Yeah, like nobody with... wants their head shoved down there. That's <laughs> fucking rude. Uh, that is not true, by the way. It is true. Some girls do like that. Mm, no, I think it's... No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Hold on, hold on. I'm not arguing. Oh, I'm not okay. saying no. I think in certain situations, but I think that's pretty obvious as well. It's like, that's like the girl that like, you know, like your shirt isn't even off and she's got a finger up your ass. Right. You know, then obviously at that point, it's, you know. And, There's no hold bar. Well, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, I don't know. Casey and I have drank tequila before. I mean, <laughs> yeah, Mexico gets weird. But like, <laughs> I don't know. There's, not, no, there's no protocol. I mean, I just, I don't know. Like if it was just somebody that you're not like in a relationship with, some fuck buddy at his house, like, no. Yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I think if it's just, if it's booty call stuff or whatever, it's like, you know, they're. I, I, I don't want to do that call. unless we're like married. Booty, no, but booty that's call just, stuff like that. Wait, wait, is, no blowjobs unless you're married. Is that what you're like, trying to Why call? do I need to do all that extra work if I'm, you know, <laughs> it's not yeah. like I can go yeah. anywhere. I don't think that's a thing. I think, <laughs> I think I booty know. calls is where that normally occurs. I don't think so. Really? And if, well, if because if the girls don't like it, then why would? When's they, the last well, time saying. you had your random occurrence? It's what been me? a while? Oh yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's been a while. <laughs> he hates you. Don't make fun of him. What? Oh no, we made up. Oh, that's right. uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just different with everybody. I mean, <laughs> cup my okay, balls. Okay, let's... Cup, wait, hold on. But cut my balls. Completely acceptable. That's totally fine, right? Like you could, you could say cut my balls. Well, if you've listened to any episodes with me talking about this subject, you know, definitely pay attention to the balls, ladies. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. That's the key to a man's heart. Yeah. Forget his or, stomach. Or, you know, if you're playing a sport. <laughs> or the... Either way. What? But, so le let's say that the guy pays attention to the girl down there. Is it automatically assumed? No. Or can I, don't it, feel like nope. I, have, I don't feel like I have to reciprocate. It's not? No. Oh, okay. I actually say no as well. Really? Yeah. Who has the time for all that? Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. And I, I'm going to be honest. I think I'm going to just speak for all women out there. And okay. I yeah, think they have a dangerous you line. You no, could. I, no, I am. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I know. And I'm pretty much a chick. <laughs> right. But wieners are fucking gross. They're totally they're gross. They're ugly. It's just nothing is right about yeah, and they're it. They're protruding. It's just, and like, it's it's just like, it's aimed at you. Yeah. You know, that's like, exactly it's, it. Yeah, like, it's just, it's like a, it, it honestly, it's the honest, that's why they like the lights off. They don't want to see that shit. You, nobody wants to see it. I, I'm going to be, I don't like to, I'm glad I got fat. I hated seeing my dick. <laughs> I fucking hated it, you know? And now I don't have to look at it anymore unless I walk past the mirror. And even then, I fucking turn to the side. Yeah, I have very short mirrors. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she goes out to the gate. <laughs> and the gate doesn't open. Oh, this is so funny. And so why not, man? Fucking throw the... She doesn't want to go back in and she ask She doesn't want to go back in and ask, right? And she throws her purse over and starts to climb. And the cleaning lady comes <laughs> and opens and she just rides it and just, so she just, I, I'm going to mention this several times, but that awkward character that she plays yeah. is so spot on. It's so good. It And it's so believable. Like you're literally just going, that's pretty much what I would do as I yeah, was riding the, that what fence. The what the fuck I mean, you enjoy the ride. I thought it would be so, <laughs> it, even better. If the car drove in and then she starts to get down and then it closes. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it pulls her back inside. Right. Now, Jerry, you haven't seen this, right? No. Oh, I you have, haven't seen this? I've seen parts of it. Oh, okay. Um, I've never sat down and watched it. So that one um, got him. He thought that was Oh, hilarious. my God. Yeah. 
I was crying at this point. Like, and then, but I think just timing wise, you couldn't have done that. And and I think also just the reveal of who's in the car because at first, because the first thing I thought I was just like, he's already fucking leaving. You know, he's going to get some breakfast or something. And then I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be another chick. This is fucking embarrassing. And then it's just the fucking maid. And oh. it's a little racist that you think she's the maid because she wasn't yeah, wearing they didn't a name say it. tag. They didn't like say it on the car or anything. Yeah. Um, it's not like I said maid service. Could have been his mom. Yeah, it could have been. Right. Well, he's, his, he wasn't Hispanic. Could have been adopted. Or, you don't know his life. <laughs> uh, no, no. <laughs> the, another one of the really funny early scenes that, that happens just right off is the two of them going to the park to do the exercise class, but they don't want to pay the $10. <laughs> and so they hide behind <laughs> a tree <laughs> and just do what they do with the whatever. And oh my God, he's it's the fucking, it's that dude that's Terry, on in like Terry Crews. And he just goes, hey, you got to pay like the rest of these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> just, that is some shit that me and Ashley Stowell would have done 100%. Why like, can't back they in the say, day. fuck you, it's a free country. I can do sit-ups in the grass if I want to. I don't know. It was hilarious. But it was stuff. fucking so fun. Well, the funny thing is, is and they just, just start dancing like yeah and he, oh you're dancing in the park right then she goes home though and it's like the the sister is you know, she's like i got a free tattoo you know and she shows her this fucking tattoo <laughs> oh my god it looks like job of the hut oh it's so some bad mexican and then she goes, you might want to ice that and frozen put some frozen peas on it and she just pours <laughs> the peas they're just peas. going he literally shouldn't have opened it what is that i got engaged what he asked me last night. What? I know. That's why he's been acting so weird. Because he's a terrible liar and he thought if he was ever going to blow it, he was ignoring me and I thought he was going to break up with me. And Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I know. So, as a girl, mm-hmm. when something like that happens, are you required to act like that? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Are you that petty? Always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Yeah. <laughs> a no. little bit. You're supposed to be like, oh my God, that's so exciting. But like. Yeah, and like you have to do the thing like, let me see the ring kind of thing. Yes. And like. I- Which is actually just being on the other side of it. I don't like that. I don't like when somebody's like, let me see your ring. Like, I'm just like, why the fuck do you care what my ring looks like? I don't know. I don't like that. Right. I felt like it was really weird. Like people like grabbing your hand all the time. There's a lot of pressure these days when you get engaged and have a baby that you have to like have the perfect pictures and the videos and have balloons and you pop the balloons and the, and the confetti okay, colored confetti comes out. Okay, but those are fun. Like you can't even deny we it. Actually, yeah, we just went to one. Are we, we all at uh, friend, uh, of friend of the show, Ashley Miller. We went to her reveal party. It they're, was awesome. They're gonna have a little girl and it was a lot of fun it was super low-key and all their stuff was perfect like well, on they, on facebook it was like perfection everything well i mean you you have to understand he's a graphic designer oh i didn't know that and she's a personality and she's ashley right. <laughs> yeah yeah exactly she's ashley and they both look like they're in fucking gq magazine exactly so it was great it was perfect and they it was the it was a cool group it was most i mean it was mostly obviously they're like actual friends and i mean we're, we're friends now yeah. but we don't you know we hang out a little we're like yeah different from their friends. but though. we will be more in their friend group now because that's what happens when you have kids you have to hang out with other people that have kids that's true yeah i will <laughs> say whenever me and you got engaged like i didn't really get any squealing reactions like from anybody because yeah, oh. a we got engaged in mexico and the other couple that we went with got engaged on the same day yeah <laughs> so there wasn't really like it was like excitement for ourselves we didn't really give a shit well, it was person. an interesting story because I had already bought the ring. And then the other guy who was going on the trip <laughs> texted me and was like, yeah, I'm going to ask. And also the other her name's Casey. Her too. name's Casey as well. So he's like, I'm going to ask Casey. I'm going to we're going to I'm going to ask her to marry me on the Not trip. Me. And I'm it like, weird. <laughs> so I'm like, well, fuck, man, I guess the thing to do is for me to wait. Right. But then I'm just like. I don't really want to because this is perfect. And she, I, I knew there was no way in hell she fucking knew it was coming at, on this trip. There was no way. There's no way it could have been a thing. Now, his Casey, on the other hand, had already expected it to happen a couple of times on New Year's Eve and then on a holiday before yeah. that. And like she was waiting on it. So, man, I thought long and hard about it. And I finally, I just texted him. I go, dude, here's the thing. I have a ring, too. And, like, I don't want to, like, get involved in your stuff. But You texted this? Why didn't you just call him? Uh, I don't like to talk to people I know you, but this conversation warranted a call. Like, I I understand. I'm going to be honest. He's not a great conversationalist, either. We did fine on the texting. All right. Plus, it's like me and her are friends, and they're, like, the... 
husbands. He's you not, know, like, like they're yeah, friends and they're friendly. I, I know but, like, him, they don't but hang out or anything. I know it just seemed like this one conversation needed a phone call. We did fine. Okay. So he was like, dude, no, man, this is great. You do what you got to do. Let's just keep each you other. You almost started your impression of him and then stopped it. <laughs> and the, uh, <laughs> let's just keep, you know, we'll keep each other posted. Well, he, I, I had my plan. He had his plan. He totally fucking bailed on his plan and like took her to lunch one day and didn't, didn't tell us. And they went and got engaged. And then he like told her like, don't wear your ring because now Casey's getting engaged and then I don't want her to think that you got engaged. And like, and, but like, it, but I already do because after it, it, we got engaged, she's like, oh, by the way, Casey got engaged too. Like, it's- yeah, it was a thing. But anyway, it worked out awesome. We had an amazing trip. She was very surprised. Yeah, and then I get back and I'm just like, I got engaged, and people are like, y'all aren't married. Like, no, yeah, well, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> we got married, and people were like, well, y'all weren't married. In, yeah. in in the in the all of our defenses, you've been saying you've been married for a long time. Well, we, well, we did have been operate married for a long time. as a married. Yeah, we did operate as a married couple for. Uh, so I'm saying there was like less time. squealing involved in mine, but yeah, we people were just confused so, about everything. So <laughs> the 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 bridesmaid thing is also a thing, like. You, we have a friend, um, and she's from Wichita Falls, and she's very good friends with everybody. It's it hasn't Katie been in like forty weddings or something crazy like that? She's a sorority girl. She's been in and every so wedding ever. Every single time somebody gets married, though this this bit that happens a little bit later is real. I mean, you have to buy whatever dress. Right. They point to. I've been in a lot of weddings. I get put in a lot. No, no, no. I know. Yeah, I was about to lead in. We should that. watch that movie, Twenty Seven Dresses. Yeah, that's I, her. I actually that's really like it. Movie. I really that's like her. that movie. I always tell her that that's her. I mean, I'm like, who, who the fuck? Every weekend, oh, I can't. I'm going to a wedding. And I swear, the girl's name's always fucking Valerie. I'm like, how many fucking <laughs> Valerie? Holy do you shit! Know? Like, it's crazy. Mm. But I've been in a bunch, and it's true. You have to pay for so much shit, and. I mean, I don't know. I was the maid of honor for the, one of them, and that is stressful as fuck. Well, and uh, plus. With Casey, you know, I don't want to put off anybody who might be listening to this, but when you have her in your wedding, you also get free hair because, <laughs> hey, you're already going to be here. Uh-huh. Like, could Man, you we're do- looking for a hairstylist. Yeah. We don't have one that could day. Could you do Casey, this? you're my maid of honor of- when I get married. <laughs> okay, I'll do your hair. But I always look like shit going down the aisle. I'm like trying to get a fucking shoe on, hopping down the thing because <laughs> everybody else looks beautiful and I have like half an eyebrow and it's just a shit show. She was in one wedding though where they... They, you know, they had their dress and they had their shoes and she had bought all that stuff and everything was fine. But then they were I like, I probably cried at some point. I always cry. We were, but then she, at one point she's like, now they want us to get these robes for us to get ready in. And she finally <laughs> just told her, she goes, I'm not buying that fucking robe. No, that's- but that's not what happened. Oh, okay. So here's the story. It was my cousin, Rachel, who I was her maid of honor, who I love her and I'm glad I was a maid of honor. It wasn't. A, Absolutely. None of the issues of being a maid of honor had to do with her. It was always like dealing with all the other bridesmaids and getting right. shit together. Like I ended up getting stuck with the cost of all the fucking bachelorette party shit they were supposed to chip in for. I mean, it just, you just have to just accept that shit. Jarrett was like, I'm telling him the plan. He's like, that's not going to happen. Just expect to spend the money. Yeah, (laughs) you know, exactly. There's no way. So she sends me pictures. Mind you, my cousin looks like a fucking supermodel. She's just beautiful and she's nice and she's smart. And it's like, you know, one of those things. And all of her friends are like these like little tiny supermodels. Right. And I am not little or tiny. (laughs) <laughs> but I'm funny, right? But funny doesn't fucking fit you in the dress that well. But that's okay. So she was polite enough to, you know, find a dress that I was like more comfortable in. But she sends me a picture one day and goes, what do you think about these for getting ready? Because everyone does like robes or matching uh-huh. pajama pants or something. And it is a strapless short, short romper. One piece. She, and she, just, she doesn't say like she goes what size no she doesn't say would you she says what size are you what does it matter these? unless you're going to take pictures in it and she sends you they are taking pictures while you're That's getting ready and I'm doing hair and I've got huge boobs so she goes what size are you in these you think and I just said I'm going to be real honest with you right now my size is not on that rack because if it is like that store is fucking idiotic like nobody <laughs> and she goes I never ever would have thought about that ever so I just told her I'm like I'm not wearing that I will happily find something that matches like I can't be like curling hair with a strapless thing and giant <laughs> boobs and a wedgie and fucking photographers oh. Jesus Christ it was the worst thing ever hey hey she's hot that's nice Thanks, that, that is yeah, that's super really nice thank you yeah it's, it's, it's cause I didn't wear that fucking romper yeah, yeah. So. I, I don't know it sounds like a cool job to me <laughs> <laughs> she's, she already has about 
14 like double chinned awkward doing hair pictures like in her photo album that of course she looks beautiful in so they're staying forever right and so that's I just, the worst and I can ignore that that's fine that doesn't bother me that's but at least worst. my ass isn't hanging out yeah I always feel bad when they're like oh that really looks good of her but I look like shit I'll just suck it up yeah we all do it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we all do, don't we? But I'm fucking drinking. What are you talking about? Talk to me about being by yourself. I go everywhere by myself. Well, you know, thanks to that new whore, Barb. No, I I don't like to say it. They've been married 12 years. Oh, okay, but she's still a whore. You know, I'm sure she greets him in the evening. Beaver first. (laughs) I don't want to think about that. I bet she got that car by giving your dad something sexually. Because there was one thing I would never do. I'm sure Barb is a champion. Okay, of it. I don't want to know. It's called a chicken coop. Oh, of course it is. You start at the back and you peck your way to the front like you have a beef, <laughs> and then you end up with two eggs in your mouth. It's gross. No, I'm sure your dad likes it. Of course, he grew up on a farm. Okay. <laughs> so, if we ever get divorced and you get remarried, like that is gonna be me. Hey, so, just the fact that they got this actress, like yeah. she's we didn't even mention her no, in yeah. the credits, but. Yeah. She, this is like a very famous actress from yeah, yeah. back in the day who is, again, they gave him shit to talk about, but this back and forth was amazing. <laughs> so you saw this scene? Because this was in the unrated version. See, we didn't see it. We saw half of it. Yeah, oh, so okay. we didn't get all of this. Okay, but Because uh, the chicken cooping thing is fucking amazing. It's You're called right. the chicken coop. The mom is so great because it's, I just, the conversation where she's just like, you know, and mom, you're not even supposed to go to AA. You're not even an alcoholic or whatever. She's just going to AA. Just well, that's to, just because I've never had a drink. Yeah, exactly. You can't say that I'm not alcoholic just because I've never had a drink or whatever. <laughs> and then she like brings up blow jobbing. <laughs> like, dude, and just like that she's painting these pictures of Rick just Springfield. Rick Springfield, Willie Nelson. Uh, Burt Reynolds Winona and Winona Judd. Judd. Yeah, the why why not? Wasn't that the one that's yeah, like on the table? About. She's like, oh, Winona Judd. Oh, Winona Judd. I knew okay. I should have painted her with her mouth closed. <laughs> so great, man. And it, but you know, also an understanding mom. I feel like know? that's how our kids are going to be whenever they get older. And I'm just sitting at home painting pigs in suits all day. Like you know, there's going to be all over the house. You should do that, by the way, because you could make good money at that. Anyway, what is she describing? What is a chicken coop? I didn't understand what the hell she was talking about. Like, where is she starting to peck? Where is she ending up pecking? And then I assume the balls are the Have got to be the eggs, yeah. But is yeah. she talking about, like, starting... In the in back. The bu- yeah, okay. So the, Then to the front, yeah. and then so two eggs in your mouth. pecking from the ass area right. up to the ball area and then ending up with balls in your that's mouth? That's correct. And yeah. that's a sexual thing that has a name. Well, apparently it's a chicken coop. <laughs> and you know, here's the thing. Think about where her nose is and chicken coops smell like shit. <laughs> so that all makes I think sense that could, I think that could be a good script <laughs> about that. I love this relationship between this mom and daughter, though. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's hilarious. I, I, I just, and, and obviously this is really funny just because the, the, the dad ran off with the stepmom or whatever, and she's the fucking slut, and the, the, that's got the really nice car. And it's been twelve you know, years. Yeah, it's been twelve years or whatever. And she leads, meets him at the door with her beaver. You know, beaver which, first. We've been talking about beaver a lot lately. It's because there was a beaver in the pond. We had a beaver in the can, pond, and they came and got it. About the kinky stuff, like I don't think that should be so soon in the relationship. The kinky stuff, right? Depends on how, depends on where you want it to go. Didn't we just say this? Like even like shoving a girl's head down there is not really good. Like I early don't on, consider shoving a girl's head down there kinky. No, I'm just no, saying. Like just I think rude. there's a fucking respect issue here. No, it's just the, the thing. Okay, here's my answer. What, what if do you, you consider resist shoving? the first time? Don't do it again. What do you? Well, of course. Then you don't want to do it. No, yeah, it's a and then thing. you just don't date her again. Also, you know when you <laughs> shove their head down there is if you don't give two shits about ever seeing them again. Okay, first of all, let's define shove. Pushing. Of any kind, like okay, so come like, here and like pretend we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Think about it. Shove. No. no sh- okay, shove. I don't think you should shove anybody. Yeah, but ever it's a thing. But, unless they want to be. But shoved. What, what? What about a gentle? Yeah, but if they resist, like then you just give up. There's no resisting because it's just a, a little. I, I'm, I'm describing this for he's the taking, audio listeners. He's I'm taking pushing on the head. He's taking a thumb and barely, three fingers. Like I'm barely pushing he's the barely hair down, pushing down so that thing. it touches. It's it's like, hey, I would like this, right? But no, but there's there's if they shivers. don't go. There's nothing that I'm not gonna. I'm not going to force your head down. 
But if there might be, like, if you're kissing on my chest and I tap you on the head just a little bit, then you know my intent, right? That's right. But it's not rude because I'm not pushing you down there. But there like- are shovers. Okay, but there are shovers, but they're just dickheads. So let's just establish that. Right. So that's the the point is, is that I feel like we've covered this topic. And we're all on the same page. But why would you say no to that, though? What do you mean? Okay, the guy wants you to go down there. What's the problem with it? Oh, I just don't want. I it. think we covered that too. <laughs> I just don't want Nobody it. wants I'm, like, that. Married to it. No, the interested. lights are turned off. You don't have to look no, at there's, it. There's, there's. I agree. It looks terrible. There are women in the world. I think that like to do that. Oh, there definitely are women. One hundred percent prefer to do that than anything else. There are definitely women in the world that don't like to do that. Oh, I, I agree. I don't think I'm either. Yeah. yeah. No, there is absolutely <laughs> n- no. Let, let me just state this: there is absolutely nothing worse, nothing worse than getting a blowjob from a girl who doesn't enjoy it at all. That don't even like, bother. She's like crying or like. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. She's like, got her. <laughs> I don't want to do. Like fucking, she's got the fucking YouTube on with the sound on, trying to figure it out. You know, like her phone down there. Like, like what am I there. supposed she to She just do? puts the phone on your belly. And like, as you breathe, it's going up. She's struggling to see, squinting her eyes and shit. She can't, she just trying to figure it all out. She's like, well, I can't hear. Oh, look, hey, look, I can't sh- see where he's, I can't stop where she's Stop moaning. Stop moaning. She's telling me where to put my finger. I've got to do it. Hold on. Let's, let's do this thing called the chicken coop. We'll see where it goes. See where that leads us. Oh, my God. It you smells. need a shower. <laughs> This is Annie. Hi. There she is, maid of honor. (laughs) So lovely (laughs) to meet Lillian's childhood friend. You're you're so pretty. (laughs) You're so cute. Oh, Oh, you're so sweet. Helen is married to Dougie's boss, Mr. Harris. Perry. Perry. And they're so close now. (laughs) They're literally joined at the hip. Which is good because they're a (laughs) wee. I'm so glad you guys are finally meeting. I know. I know. Me too. Oh, well. Well, again, A, you know why Kristen Wiig is such a great actress. A, she's acting awkward here. Secondly, uh, she's telling the other girl that she's pretty, like she's prettier than her. And only one person is prettier than Kristen Wiig in the world. <laughs> and we all fucking know who that is. Right. Now, I, so you, know, you told me you thought the other lady's really super hot. No, no, no. Well, I, I, I'm not really super hot, but again, I thought I thought she was really attractive in neighbors. Neighbors, and why is that? Because I like normal chicks, like, and she that she just looks yeah, normal. She just looks them. normal. Anyway, let's uh, let's let's back up a little bit. Stop fucking try. You you're fucking <laughs> you're trying to steamroll your way into some shit. <laughs> I'm just saying she doesn't look normal. Um, let's back up a little bit though. Let's oh, go you're through being all sarcastic. Yeah, let's go through all the friends. So first of all, Rita. Yeah, Rita's um, at- <laughs> Rita from the the Goldbergs. Yeah, uh, Reno nine one one, and she talks about her kids mm-hmm. having semen everywhere. Right, and she's like, "I cracked a blanket in half." Yeah, yeah. You oh know my where god, I'm going with it? Oh my god! If you're a guy, and if you've ever used a towel, mm-hmm. you know what they're talking about. Right. Here. Yeah. Definitely. Because semen turns into cement. Well, it turns into glue. <laughs> it's which is why. So semen. Pe- so people used to, uh, you know, like I would, you know, I would discuss it to my friends and stuff. And they'd be like, so what do you use, you know, to like wipe off? And What's I'd be like, well, I, have to go, I like to go get like a uh, bounty or, uh, you know, like a rat <laughs> or something. Because if like tissue to me, like the problem with like tissue, like, and so even like. Uh, I have a sound guy who like acting it out right now. Why he, he like it out? sticks his uh, sticks like a Kleenex down in there and just leaves it in there. But what? that that turns into paper mache. Yeah, you no. just paper mache your dick if you because once the semen gets on to right. the Kleenex and it just forms into that. You, you ever do the thing where some like you wipe it off with that and it gets on there and you don't realize it and then you just got like a strip of Kleenex that's just stuck to the head <laughs> of your penis. I can't use Kleenex. You get what? That's what I'm saying. I don't do that anymore. I can't use Kleenex at all. I've never Kleenex used is better than toilet paper, by the way. No, I can't use toilet paper or Kleenex. I have too much. It's it's right. it's, it's, it's like it's like dumping a jar of mayonnaise into a thing of Kleenex. Blah. Right. Well, it's, that's what I'm saying. That's why you need bounty. It's a quicker picker no, upper. No bounty. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's a quicker picker up. <laughs> oh, no, I have to use a towel. Yeah. Well, that, that's what to, bounty. I have to use something that's not semi permeable. It's a paper towel, towel that's yeah. in your shower. <laughs> oh my no, God! You're a, a poor towel. mother. It's a it's a little bit larger towel than that. Yeah, he has to use a beach towel, apparently. <laughs> it's like a fucking horse. That's so gross. You know? Jesus Christ. All right, now we have Becca, who's Kimmy Schmidt. 
and she goes, "Oh, I'm sorry. Is this your husband?" Yeah. Oh my <laughs> and so, god. Dude, and that poor guy. And he said that she's you like, "No." Go for a walk yeah. Later? And she's no, no. Yeah. And oh my god, just that reaction. I, well, here's the thing that I that I and I actually thought that bit was really funny. It was hilarious. But. Who the fuck just assumes that you're with the person he standing, standing next to right you? Standing right next to her. I know, but it happens twice. Then there's like the really <laughs> the tall, tall black, black dude. Guy. Yeah, they're just like, oh, no, this I'm gonna must... climb him like a tree later. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's not your husband. Okay, dibs. <laughs> <laughs> that was Megan. Yeah, yeah, and then that, and then we have Helen here. Helen, who uh, is? Do we ever even see her husband? I don't think so. He's yeah, we do. He's like just, but I don't think he has lines or anything. Oh, okay. I don't remember saying that. She's like wearing a fucking ball gown and shit. Yeah, and I mean, how, is, how are people not stepping? The ridiculousness of that dress was hilarious because right. no one would actually wear I that. hated her from the beginning just because of that dress. Yeah, yeah like exactly. it was. I get that. Dead. It was stupid. It's like, how do you walk around in your party with that thing? So the toasts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So this is something that I could, as I was watching this, if I haven't been in this situation before, uh, I will be. Because I could totally see myself getting into a fucking toast contest with somebody. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. 100 totally see that. It would for sure happen. Like, I, you know, like, oh, I forgot to say this, and here's a hilarious story, and yada, yada. It's like uh, my friend the Ginger. I think if we were at the same wedding and we were equally as close to the to the guy or whatever like we there would be a fucking toast off <laughs> this one is fucking amazing because they're both just losing losing it and then he get gets into fucking karaoke and shit <laughs> and it's which actually can fucking lead one off you know cuz uh the ginger has actually done and uh so i don't really know what to say but uh i don't know how much but I do know I love you. <laughs> and uh, I uh, at Linus's rehearsal dinner, mm -hmm. I did, uh, and I would just like to speak to you guys. Uh, and I talked about their love and stuff and all that shit first, and then I just said, <laughs> uh, but I would also like to say in the immortal words of Joe Cocker, "Love lift us up where we belong." <laughs> Where the eagles cry. Anyway, and uh, it was a big hit. I would have forgotten the words. Yeah. And yeah. it would have you know flopped. What? Well, I just fucked that up just now, but, you know, I could have done better. <laughs> so, I believe you. You're not drunk. But I'm still going to have to give you a ticket. What? Why? It's a funny thing about brake lights. You have to have them. Oh, I knew it. God, this has been out for like a year. I'm so stupid. Look, please. Please, I promise I will get them fixed this week. I promise. Please. You have to give me a ticket. And then the fun little dance. And she's so fucking cute. Irish. Are there girls <laughs> that look as good as her that are that can't find a boyfriend, have no job, and drive a car like this in the world? Yes. Totally. Me. There's no yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> God damn it. You're 17. Give it a couple of years. Plus, also, your car is badass. It is. You drive Thanks, a flipping guys. Jeep. That's awesome. That's not that doesn't count. I don't know. I don't know if I buy it. I really don't. Hot, funny girls yeah. with no lives? Yeah. I don't think that's a thing. It's not a thing. Right. Can't be a thing. <clears throat> mm -mm. Unless they choose to be single. Like Casey. She you had chose a breakup and her business closed. It's like she's like in between shit. Yeah. yeah I guess so. That's, that's just a low happens. point. Was there a breakup? Yes. Yeah, it was like a thing. But not with John Hamm, with somebody else. Yeah, remember he was, was like, who was, it was the, there the was waiter the, guy? The, there was always the guy, and he had like the wormy little oh, face. Oh, that's and... right. He worked at the thing. Yeah, and he's trying to describe the thing. He's like, it's got the stuff, and it's got the stuff inside of it. Yeah, it's a cream puff. And it's a cream puff. Right. Cream puffs sound horrible. They're, they're so not good. good. No, they're not good. What? The, well, the flakiness, like, I don't like, like. You've never had a good one then? I don't like croissant rolls. They're and not croissants. Whoa, 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 whoa. Croissants are amazing. No, he I don't like that like shit. Anything what? Good. I don't, that texture is... like bacon, so can you really trust someone's food taste? No. Oh, that's right. No, I don't want to be like this, guys. <laughs> I don't like things that look solid and then have like like a creamy... It's like a jelly-filled not... donut. Well... You know, like those? Because it's kind that of That doesn't thing. look solid. I'm talking about something like a cake, and then you bite into it, and it's like not nothing solid. inside there. You know what what I mean? Like a hostess uh, All it cupcake? looks like, like a Twinkie? is a glazed donut. Like a Twinkie? No, no like a, a Twinkie? donut doesn't look solid. Twinkies a Twinkie are fucking does. good. 
Yeah. Solid uh, donuts are, are good. Donuts are fluffy and they don't have a solid middle. Like a cake. You bite into a cupcake and then it's like it just has cream what inside about, like, of it. What about yeah, like what about bunk cake? Like where it's got shit in the middle of it. Oh no, no. that's really good. I think Yeah, it's really good. good. Yeah. Not all bunk cakes have that. You're that is correct. Uh, right. You're right. So <laughs> anyway, so if it did like that, I would expect it to be solid and I wouldn't like that. I don't like that. Okay. That's why anal sex is not all what it's cracked up to be because you <laughs> think it's gonna be amazing <laughs> and it's just, just this hollow <laughs> it's Right. Yeah, you date like big turded girls. Too. You da- you date like girls with like Sorry, fu- right. tree trunk fucking turds. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like they fucking stop up your toilet a bunch, I bet. You know? Like and you blame it on other shit. You're just like, Hey, uh you know you're not supposed to flush those and they're like, No, I didn't and it's just like no, I have tree trunk turds. <laughs> you that agree with anal with, sex is not all what it's cracked up to be. I am not going to agree with that. Oh, okay. But that's because <laughs> <laughs> it seems Casey's fucking waiting for this. It answer. seems fucking stupid to talk about this right now with my wife <laughs> sitting across the room. So uh, you may have stumbled upon the one thing I won't fucking talk about. I guess maybe that's it. Want to talk about Chris Cornell? I'm fucking <laughs> in. No, it's because yeah, if he's um, talking about it, it's not with me. <laughs> Hello, Wendy. Hello. Don't you, didn't we talk about the fact that you hate that song, Wendy? We've talked about it, but I never said I hated it. I thought you did. I thought, uh, uh, no. Wendy uh-uh. doesn't hate anything. You got gifted this from David Dooley. I got gifted this from David Dooley. Right, so we're, we all missed that infectious David Dooley laugh. He had, David Dooley is driving around his son on a date tonight. Yes, he is. Nice. Wow. So what happens if they decide they want to do it in the back of the car? Does he have to get out? <laughs> or? I'm pretty sure Tilt that's the why he's a little bit. Oh, you're pretty sure that's why he's there? Oh, so that they can do it while he's driving around? Oh. Um, well, cool. Well, you know why you're here. We're doing this thing. It's called Five Questions. I'm going to ask you five random questions. And then uh, if you get them all right, you win absolutely nothing. And then Rich will, of course, ask you a bonus question. Yes. And uh, hopefully you will uh, get that one right, too. There's really no reason to do this anymore. Did she listen to the unrated version or the rated version? Uh, and we watched or the watch. rated version, by the way. Oh, you, we you we guys couldn't find the, uh, the unrated one. We had to buy it. So, like, I think I watched the rated one. I'm guessing I watched <clears throat> the rated one. I don't know. And I'm not even. I'm not gonna lie. I still have like 20 minutes left of the movie. Oh, good, because all of my questions are about the end. So, <laughs> um, we're we're doing good there. All I'm right. guessing I know how this movie ends, but because it, to me it's just like every other romantic comedy that Have I've watched. Have you not seen this movie thing, before? I never saw the movie before. She said she doesn't know. Well, you don't know how it ends. Then. All right, here we go. We're going to do this. Question number one. As far as I'm concerned, this movie, besides my wife, has arguably the hottest woman on the planet in it. True or false? I guess I'll go with true. That is true. <laughs> Absolutely true. She is. Uh, she's neither hotter nor funnier than my wife, but uh, is a close second. <laughs> with eyebrows or without eyebrows. <laughs> uh, question number two in the movie *Bridesmaids*. There, it's a great and fantastic cast of characters, and there is a police officer, and uh, he has a very very fun accent. He is perhaps the worst day after dater of all time. <laughs> True or false? The worst day after dater? Perhaps. False. That is correct. <laughs> yes, I was leading you into that. Obviously, the worst is the guy who says, I don't mean to be a dick, but I really want right. you to go. <laughs> right. You, know, but, right. Uh, you can leave now. <laughs> yeah, you can go. Uh, question number three deals with a, uh, with a topic outside of the movie Bridesmaids. And uh, that is a movie uh, that is not really even a movie yet. Uh, in the movie <laughs> coming out uh, in a few years starring Jarrett Reddick, um, the critics hated it, but it was it's actually going to be really, really fucking good. True or false? True. That is true. <laughs> that is true. I've got a movie coming out. What? I haven't even booked it yet. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, don't, <laughs> I was really reaching on that one, I'm going to oh, okay. be honest. Like, I fucking, I, the, seldom does this happen, but like, I start, my fucking this brain. This is positive thinking. You're putting yourself in a movie that has that <laughs> doesn't even exist yet. My mouth was actually going faster than my brain on that one, and I, it kind of worried me. Like, I'm just, the Where fuck? is it going? I'm, st- I'm still talking, and I don't know what I'm saying yet. <laughs> you know, like, and if there's still words coming out of my mouth, like, what the fuck is going on? It's like the ex- exact opposite of Eric Chandler. I thought you were writing yourself a t- million dollar check like Jim Carrey did. <laughs> did he do that? Uh-huh. Yeah. What, so what's the story and on he that? He got to cash it. Yeah, he wrote himself a $10 million check to cash it in three years. And then three years later, he almost to the day he got the, the um, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber role. And, and made $10 million. Dollars. Yep. Good for him, man. Yeah, so. that guy was living in a car. I'm pretty sure you're going to be in a movie in three years now. I am too, actually, because that was so. the question. What am I going to do? Shut <laughs> Okay, Support. again, it doesn't always have to be about you. It can no. sometimes be about me. Yeah, seriously. We've been talking about narcissism, and uh, <laughs> I finally figured out what it was, and apparently I'm married to it. <laughs> you want to go there? <laughs> no. No, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just le- I'm fine leaving it right there, actually, if you don't mind. Uh, recently, we talked about Las Vegas. In Las Vegas, there are a lot of fun things to do. One of them is not riding in a taxi cab. True or false? Um, that is true. That is true. That is absolutely true. It's literally a bunch of stopping and starting. Um, you know, it's essentially like uh, trying to have sex with a condom that doesn't fit. <laughs> is Ryan <laughs> clapping? Are you clapping over there? I can. Please oh. clap. <laughs> Please. <laughs> she can if you'd like. All right. That uh, wasn't in my job. Was that question number four? Or <laughs> Will three? claps. I think that was four. Okay, we're to question five. Holy shit, we're really doing it, guys. Yeah. All right. In the movie Bridesmaids, Melissa McCarthy does what in the sink during the fitting of the dresses? <laughs> she gets sick. Um, Can we have more, more details? A little bit more Oh detail. my gosh, she poops in the sink. She poops in the sinks. That is right. Yes. Uh, we would have also said uh, sits in the sink pooping while watching all of the other girls throw up on one another. <laughs> yeah. um, but that is the five questions. You did really, really great, especially on the one that really had no correct answer to it. Uh, you fucking nailed it. Going over to our bonus question from Mr. Mr. Richard Kubert Hamilton Carter Rollins Coleman, the third. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. So Jarrett stole my question, or half of it anyway. Damn it. So I'm going to switch over to do a new question. Okay. Off the cuff. Kristen Wiig's mother is a very talented artist. Which of the paintings that she has done is your favorite? Rick Springfield. That is, that is correct. correct. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that was the tamest bonus question Rich has ever asked. That's, well, he had to come up with one off the cuff. Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> Now, speaking of him, would you let him? I, can't I, actually, I actually had to pause that and hit the back button. I'm like, was that a picture of Rick Springfield on the wall? Well, <laughs> and Willie it Nelson is. was next to him. Yeah. And then, like, around the corner. It's like a Dolly Parton. Burt Reynolds. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, just for a bonus bonus question, true or false, in the sixth grade, I was in the Rick Springfield fan club. True. That is true. I was absolutely in his, and I had his poster on the wall. I'm super impressed with that, because I was never in his fan club until I was an adult. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So. If I were in his fan club now, it'd be real fucking weird, but... Uh, I don't think so. No? Do you oh. ever, like, re- did they revoke your membership? Are you sure well, you're you not still? you just stop doing it. It was, like, two bucks a year or something crazy. It, it, well, it is. It's like you, you pay, pay an annual thing, but, like, I've seen guys at his show pay $500 for an autographed guitar and go to the meet and greet. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah that's his thing. So he does this deal, and Andy did it. My friend Andy, he, he did the... Uh, but, I mean, you know, it's, it's super cool. You have a... $500 autographed guitar, you know, uh-huh. and it's got Rick Springfield. One of my uh, fans from Cleveland, actually. Was his name Leland? No. Uh, sent <laughs> me an autographed picture of Rick Springfield um, just because she knew how much I loved him. And it just says, uh, uh, it says, Jarrett, I've done everything for you, Rick Springfield. And it made me feel good because... He's done a lot of stuff, and the just the <laughs> idea that he was doing all of that for me, and he doesn't know me. Like, there's no reason he had to get out there and do all of that stuff. I mean, he was on General Hospital when I was like a little kid. He just was, you know what? There's a little boy in Texas that needs me to be on this fucking show, and I'm gonna do it. So he did. 
Wendy, you're the best. As always, we love you. Come visit us sometime and uh, tell the family we said hello. Have a fantastic trip to Las Vegas. And we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Have okay. fun, guys. Bye. Take yeah, care of that puppy. Love you. All right, love you. I think if you're growing, then you're changing. But, I mean, we're changing from who we are, which we always stay as. Not really. I don't think so. I think so. I don't. <laughs> oh, Annie, these are my kids. Oh. Step kids. Step. <laughs> oh. They're so hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> Excuse me. My husband's kids. What are you guys up to? Going to the snack bar. Awesome. You need a ride home later? Fuck off, Helen. Okay, put a quarter in the swear jar. Good to see ya. <laughs> so cute. Sweet kiss. In real life, this, this you know, the, the, these two would have actually become better friends than they were with Maya Angelou or whoever the, the who's the Probably. Other? Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph, yeah. Yeah. In real life... Hi, Angela. What are you, 90? <laughs> I fucking could not think of her name. In real life, because you would see, like, you know what? This girl's, like, got money, but she's really unhappy, and she just needs something to hang on to, right? Yeah, this was when you... This was the first chink in the armor, when you, you go, oh, okay, her life isn't perfect. Right. And I didn't put, pick up on that, as what... I, I should have. Yeah. Um... I just thought, she's, oh, she's, she's a stereotypical... Insecure. Money's not hers. Right. She's hanging on for dear life to yeah. be in... She's just, just kind of, yeah. Yeah. Being in this thing and friending whomever she can. Right. You know? I don't know. I can kind of see myself as Kristen Wiig being blinded by the hatred that you're taking my best friend away. Yeah. Well, would, sure, sure. I, I don't think I would see the sadness. Just hate her. Well, I think the point, though, in this scene was at least they're getting together to talk and then... and. One of them is putting on face and the other one isn't. But don't you think you'd be able to see past that or no? You would just see this girl, the other, the rich girl being a bitch and taking you to this tennis club. And I would have flaked out on the tennis in the first place. Never well, why? But yeah. she was badass, though. That was the thing. <laughs> she beat the shit out of yeah, her in the tennis did. and just kept hitting the ball, which I was fucking dying laughing so at this. Carol, yeah. get your shit together! <laughs> yeah, it's so good. <laughs> and they just kept hitting each other in the tit, and it was fucking <laughs> funny, because I don't have boobs, but that looks like it hurts. It hurts. Yeah? It does. <laughs> it freaking looks like it hurts. They didn't have boobs. All right, we have a new game. Um, and, uh, oh no, I guess this isn't new yet. Have we featured our game, uh, Rich, Would You Do Her Yet? Yes. Yes. Okay, we need a theme song for this. So, any of our musical contributors, <laughs> if you guys wouldn't mind uh, making us a sound clip for Rich, Would You Do Her? <laughs> uh, now, this time, this is with multiple females. So, mm. Rich, um, we're going to go, um, I'm just going to go down the list, okay? Yep. Rich, uh, Kristen, Wig, Would You Do Her? No. Whoa. I knew that was going to be the answer. Jesus Christ. Rich, Maya Rudolph, would you do her? Definitely not. Rich, Rose Byrne, would you do her? Yes. Rich, Rebel Wilson, would you do her? Maybe. Rich. <laughs> you know it'd be fun. Ellie Kemper, would you do her? Definitely. Rich, yes. Melissa McCarthy, would you do her? No. Why would you not do Kristen Wiig? I don't, I mean, I don't know. She doesn't do it for me. I get why she does it for you, but she doesn't do it for me. She doesn't do anything for me. I don't know her. <laughs> uh, Will, ladies and gentlemen, could not be here tonight, but he does want you guys to know that he wouldn't do any of them because he's happily married. <laughs> and he would like to thank Ryan for filling in this evening. Amazing. Oh, man, that's that dress is so pretty. It makes my stomach hurt. <laughs> Lillian, I don't, I don't know what to say. You look... <laughs> Megan, are you okay? No. Oh. I think my 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 dress was probably just tight. Oh my god. You got food poisoning from that restaurant, didn't you? No, I had the same thing that she had, and I I hope you're fine. <coughs> oh my. Okay. Oh no. Happening. Nothing's happening. Oh my god. Oh, you know, on. I don't really care which dress we get. It doesn't matter to me. I just need to get off this white carpet. No, okay. No, not the bathroom. Everybody, go outside. I'm serious. There's a bathroom across the street. <laughs>
So this is the scene that everybody talked about yes. after the movie. and I, I would say definitely top 20 most memorable scenes of all time. I mean, definitely up there. So There's so many aspects of this because, A, you have the back and forth of the fact that she took him to the... Um, to the Brazilian, Brazilian restaurant. Right. Thank you. And that meat looked green, you know, and the point was, is like, Hey, you know what? It's this. I realize it looks like a dump, but this is going to be awesome. Well, and, yeah. You know, and even like Maya Rudolph was like, like, every she goes, time, trust her. She, every time she finds these weird places, yeah. and they always end up being awesome. Like they set her up for success. I've Oops. never met a single female ever that couldn't spot bad meat. Oh, you know right. I mean? Are like, we back to penises again? Because they don't like it. <laughs> When it's in their face, rich. I never push anybody's push head into, into bad meat, into bad meat, or whatever. Women that can't identify it. One in three women that have HPV. <laughs> God damn it! Roadhouse. Is it one in three? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it it's more like if in college and shit like that age, yeah. right? Yeah. So we that just all you. have it then. Yeah, like men are carriers of it. I think. I mean, right. if one in three have it, everyone has it. You may as well just, everybody has HPV. Not lesbians. Well, but no. I guess it just depends on how hard you bump it, though, right? What? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I mean, if you're, like, bumping really hard and you're mixing juices, maybe. Oh, scissoring. Yeah. Yeah. Is that not a thing? Well, I think you can spread that through oral sex and stuff, too. Am I correct? In well, that? Yeah, like women. Tell that yeah. to Michael Douglas. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I was, I was oh, going to go there. that, huh? Yeah, he well, he claims that he got throat cancer from uh, Connie Lingus. That's yeah. the only time I've ever been scared of HPV. Well, now anyway. they have. I mean, they used to back in the day, but I guess they've like almost perfected it. Those shots where you're supposed to give like the teenage girls these shots right. now as a preventative. Right. Like whenever I was younger, it only prevented like a couple strains, I think, but there was like forty, and that was the deal. There's forty strains. I don't too? know how many specific. There's a lot, but like it's like a flu shot. You know, it's gonna protect you from some of them, but not all of them. Yeah. Okay, so wait a minute. So you guys can get a shot to protect you from it. Yes. But you have to get it when you're 14? You're or supposed you to can... get it when you're like younger, like 12 to 14. Well, you, you get did. it before you're sexually active. I have never no, gotten you get, this no, you... shot. Huh? I've never gotten this shot. There's a shot? There's a shot. <laughs> yeah. How about There's a shot. shot you have to get like three of them or something. But yeah, you can get them from your doctor. Um, but what, let, let's say you're 30 or 28 and you tested negative they, for it? It's not. I don't think it's about whether or not you're sexually active. I think they they just say it's going to work better if you're younger. Oh, okay. But well, that could anyone be. can get it. HPV? Yeah. No, uh, the shot that prevents HPV. Because basically what you're saying is everyone has HPV, but if you get the shot... I did not shot, say everyone can, has HPV. I said one in one three. One in three is pretty much everybody. Like in colleges and stuff. Yeah, like a lot. Yeah. By the way, they can cure hepatitis you not have now. a health class? Um, so if you, if you <laughs> have never what? been, if they can cure hepatitis, now? Oh, yeah, they, I'm, I'm actually being really, or, I, I, I want to be actually and serious. And they can prevent it now. I want to be really for serious for a second. This is a thing. So I went into the doctor and, uh, he was just like on a whim. He's just like, have you ever been tested for hepatitis? I'm like, no. I'm like, why? And you know, like, I'm like, what the fuck He's are you saying? I was, I like, and so then I have to come home and tell my wife, like, he wants to test me for hepatitis, like, and she's and I'm like, like trying oh, to be supportive in my head. I'm like, fuck you. Yeah. So anyway, it comes back negative. But the, his point was, hey, you're 45. If you have it, we can just cure it right now. We just give you a shot and it cures right. it. If you don't, you take these three shots over the course of six months and you'll never get it. Yeah, so they're vaccinating oh, you'll him. Never at, get it. Never so get they're it. They're vaccinating him as an adult now because a lot. Of, whenever y'all were younger. They didn't have it like ever I now, that. and I yeah. had it like he has to do like happy, happy. He has to do the shots as a kid, but y'all didn't have that when you were. So, but you have to do kids. them over the course of, of a few months. So, You're good on that I, one, I really Ryan. do want to say this: if <laughs> if you haven't been tested, fucking go get tested for it and get the shot. Uh, and I get, get tested and, all the time. No, 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 but get the shot. Get the. I mean, like, because it's it's a senseless thing. You don't have to get it. So, obviously, I realize we got off topic, but I do want to point out the puking on each other's heads and Melissa McCarthy shitting in the sink. <laughs> Oh my and, then, God. and then, uh, what's her fit? Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph. Thank you. Shitting, she, in, the shitting in the street or whatever. And, but the best act, I, I get, I understand this is not because of my love for Kristen Wiig. Well, but but it you, is. no, 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 it's not. You seriously, listen, well. her, <laughs> like the face where she's trying to act like she's fine. Right. And just the sweat. sweat dripping and, off. And, and they give her the almond. They give her the almond. And, and, and oh, she's actually, just, I'm hungry. I, yeah, I'm just really hungry. And uh, <laughs> she has to eat the candied almond or whatever. I mean, 
It's just so fucking good. It reminded me a lot of like how Steve Martin would have played that sure. back in the day. You know, like so believable, but yet also a little bit slapsticky top, yeah. and kind of funny. Mm-hmm. Um, it'd be hard for anybody else to do that. Like you can't, I wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to, see, what I'm saying is I don't think a lot of comedic, even really funny comedic actresses. Why or, can't you appreciate her comedic stylings? Without it turning sexual, like if Steve I Martin was a girl, <laughs> are you going to want to marry him? Yes, too? he would. Why can't you just appreciate her comedic stylings? What like are you, you talking appreciate about? Appreciate Steve Martin. Wait, when did I turn this what? sexual? Did he not turn it sexual? I don't I give a shit. No, I didn't turn that sexual uh, at all. I thought. I just. Are you? Are you, a little, are you like out of? Are you sitting around wondering if you have hepatitis or HPV? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> you're just not listening. You're like, fuck. Roadhouse. You got me. One, two, three, fuck. <laughs> That's fucking Running amazing. a wedding should be fun. You know what? If I ever had a wedding, I'd, I'd want everybody to be stress-free. You know? I'd like it to be like a carnival. Like people win prizes for guessing the bride's way. Mm. Dunk tanks. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. You could have elephants and the bride and groom can w- walk on a little tightrope. Okay. What you're talking about there, that's a circus wedding. Oh. It's a totally different. Oh, you, you missed it. Yeah. Hey, you know, instead of uh, stressing out about this wedding, you know what you should be doing? Setting up a new bakery. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. No, I'm kind of done with that. Uh, I mean, just the guy has no game. You know, I mean. Yeah. Uh, no, and he's a little awkward, and. But he does actually. I, wait, let me rewind. He actually does. I think even just getting her to go out and sit on the hood of the car and have a conversation is fucking brilliant. But the go to being, <laughs> you know, like just keeping on with the bakery or whatever. And the ugly carrot. And her um, <laughs> ugly carrot thing. I, I actually thought that was kind of cool. The That's some li- Dennis Durkee shit, like the burnt potato chip. Like <laughs> The littering of the carrot bothered me because you can't litter vegetables. That's right. not a thing. That's, I threw a banana peel out my window. And right. I didn't feel guilty about it because it's biodegradable. Well, you fucking should have felt guilty because yeah, you know did somebody you... car fucking wrecked and <laughs> slipped on it. Well, yes, no, I actually. Where where did that happen? When did you do <laughs> on that? On your train track. Okay, now a train <laughs> on a actually, train track. It fucking on your train track. I know. Jesus Christ! That's what traffic fucking stopped and prosper. A train went off the goddamn track. They couldn't figure it out. Seriously, guess what it was? Yeah, banana, banana peel. peel. <laughs> Rich, you're going to cause the whole world to burn down. Yes, that's going to happen. Like Mario Kart all around you here. You son of a bitch. Right. I have a question, a yeah. serious question. Go ahead. Why would you come all the way to America to become a traffic cop? Well, I think he was already in America, first of all. I think he says that. And uh, he's over here doing something else and then just decides that that's what he's going to do. He said all of what you just said. I believe so. Yeah. Speaking of him being Irish, I hate his accent. I like it. I I don't think I love Irish accents. I don't think he's he's not doing an Irish accent. No, no, I... I know he's from Ireland and like yeah. that's how he actually talks but I hate it. No, but I'm saying if he's that's doing an, an Irish accent. If that's an Irish accent then he's fucking Terrible. playing it down. Yeah, it must something. Cuz if he was Irish you wouldn't be able to understand it anything like he said. It sounded like a British person who was trying maybe he's to like talk an Irish like an guy American. that lives in America. Which there is one of those in the You know what's funny yeah. about this? Maybe he was born in Ireland and then moved to England. Let's think about this. <laughs> so we've got the two British, sorry. About that hiccup. We've got the, it was almost like Sorry. a hiccup burp. Like, uh, it was like a whole thing. I didn't mean for that to make you tired, Case. So we've got the two English roommates, right? You brought this up earlier, but we're going to take it a step further. All right. Then now we've got the Irish cop who's trying to talk like he's English. Then we have Helen who's actually English talking like she's an American. Oh, that's true. It's fucking all over the place. Rebel Wilson is also from Australia, though. She's not even. Oh, shit. British. She actually plays that. That, that British girl really well. Okay, and also Rose Byrne is from Australia also. Oh, I knew, is she really? Yeah, I, I didn't think she was. All the hot ones are from She's Australia. She's from Australia too. That is very true. Uh, the only thing Oh about yeah, she it, was Australian in Neighbors. Okay, god damn it. He, had to, like, he like flew to Sydney, Australia because like in the second one, it was funny. Yeah, that's right. Have I seen the second? I haven't seen the second one. Well, I saw the second one. I think you might know the story. I didn't really get to pay attention to it um, because yeah. our 11 year old told us that he had already seen it the first one with his grandma with his grandma and so we took him to i mean like it was just like on a whim and we took him and to the theater (laughs) to Mm -hmm. the theater oh my god 
never have I I can honestly say I swear to God like and you know me like I, right. I don't give two shits never have I been more uncomfortable in my, I literally almost fucking left like I I, I could not hold but it you, I mean let's just for the record you did not leave no fuck no <laughs> you know what? my dad took me to see some fucked up shit we took ever to see Guardians of the Galaxy the other day yeah he's fine they, well they yeah. said like lots of bad words and at one point he said something no. about a penis and Everett just goes he said penis and he's like oh, yelling yeah, yeah. he said penis mom he said do you say penis? And he's just screaming and people are looking at me. And that the, Rush, the Russian and I took her daughter and they were talking about penis and I felt a little uncomfortable during that part. Yeah. But it wasn't that bad. He's four. Remember when That's Deadpool true. came out and all those parents took their like six year old kids? Yeah, to go that see was that new Super Well, movie? I have an equally fucking fucked up story about that one because <laughs> oh God, this mom got, took me to see it. No, yeah. he said that his mom took his mom and to let him watch it, and then I watched it with him on Kate. On, uh, hold on, and I watched it with him on uh, on demand, and Casey walked in like during a the quarter of the no, like just a quarter of the way through it, and she's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Well, we're watching Deadpool, or whatever." And I I was in a lot of trouble, like a lot, because <laughs> yeah, that movie the is sex scenes are crazy. It is really inappropriate. Yeah, yeah. and I was yeah. just like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, right? but he fell asleep. So I stayed uh, away from it, and Jarrett was just like, "Holy shit, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I had no idea. I didn't know what I was watching. It was a superhero movie. It I literally it, says rated R. I don't. I mean, give it was already on fuck? demand at this point. Like it had been a conversation for a long time, and he's just like, "Oh yeah, we're watching Deadpool," and I'm just like, "What the." Fuck, like, <laughs> yeah, it didn't go well at all. Hello, Annie. Yeah, I'm so excited. Helen just called. She said we can go to Vegas. You know, just yeah, but we have to, we have to fly there. Okay, Annie. I know you're afraid of flying, but I want to see Chris Angel, but I'm scared, which I sort of love. <gasps> can you just hold on for one second? Oh, sure, oh, sure, sure. Thanks. Sure. Hold Take on. Your time. I got. Hello. Hey, Annie. It's Megan. Oh, hey. Just uh, had some thoughts about the bachelorette party. Okay. Here we go. Easy peasy. Vegas it is. Helen called you, didn't she? Yeah. She got the jump on you. I want balls in my face. Honestly, I think it's Vegas. <laughs> oh, I love puppets. Balls. Balls. In my face. Man, I gotta be honest. I think I could push her head down. She wouldn't have a problem with it. The 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 first class thing bug, bugged me a lot. It really did. Like, because... There's you know. no way all of them can fucking afford it except one. Like that's ridiculous. I don't know. Fancy girls trip. Like okay. what? You know how often do they really get to Have go you ever anywhere? Maya, bought- Maya and Helen definitely can, right? Yeah. And then you've got uh, Megan, who's got the highest security clearance that <laughs> in ever, the world. In She's the got, world, got fucking and can afford to, to raise seventeen puppies. <laughs> so obviously she can do it, right? And then you've got uh, little Miss Pris, who. Her husband would probably do anything for her, right? Becca. Reno 911 probably just fucking embezzled it. There's no way in a group like that, if one person wasn't going to fly first class, that you wouldn't all just figure it Agree out. Agree with that. You wouldn't just figure it out or you would all you just pull fly it all coach. together. Yeah, whatever just, it is, yeah. it is. It's like. Let's just pay 50 bucks extra everybody we else. We took a big trip there. once and we bought so many tickets that we got one free trip. And Chris Bernie didn't want to go because he didn't want to spend the money we fucking took chris bernie awesome you know and honestly if your best friend can't pay for a first class ticket just pay for your best friend yeah like honestly. yeah exactly sit with and and if you know that your best friend is having money issues why would you go to vegas in the first place if you know she's gonna have a well you know what she the vegas thing it, is think. fine but i i just will say that that any friend that would that would like sit in first class with the whole rest of the gang mm-hmm. and then lead that I cannot. There's not one of my fucking friends that I would let that happen. No. There's no not oh, way. Me, Job. you wouldn't let that happen. To me. I would actually not. And you know what? I think I give you a lot of shit, <laughs> but sweet. I fucking love you. That's sweet. I really do. <laughs> and I, I don't necessarily always like you. <laughs> So it's like my brother. I love my brother there. always. Do you love your you brother? Love your brother. <laughs> yeah, you love your brother. He so, doesn't like me. <laughs> That's fine. There's so many things. Uh, but th- but here's the thing. This is a great scene. Um, there's so many things that happen on this plane that couldn't actually happen <laughs> in real life. But And also, like, why would everybody be mad at her? Like, they well, knew that she gave her the drugs. Well, nowadays, she could fucking sue the airline and be a millionaire. Yeah. Solve the whole fucking movie. Well, you touched me. Oh, you sent me back to the cabin. Right. Oh, okay. I see yeah. what you're saying. Now you're doing a thing right now. You're, you're doing like, a thing. Oh, I am. Yeah. No, I mean, true thing about the doctor guy or whatever. Yeah. 
Yeah. Fuck them. They shouldn't have let him on the plane in the first place. No, I, they they messed up. But Don't they, let they did somebody have the right into the seat. The shit out of they what? Clearly not. They, they messed him, up. They just gave him ten PR million dollars. Wise. Right. But they had the legal right to beat the shit out of him because it's a fucking private plane. Oh, yeah. I don't know how that works. Apparently not well. They paid him off pretty heavily. Yeah, because they didn't yeah. want the bad PR. Well, they fucking yeah. got it. Well, they don't, nobody wanted to I do mean, it. They, they didn't want more bad PR than they already had. God, I fucking love Las Vegas. It's a shame they didn't make it. Listen, I've had drunk friends on the plane before, and uh, there's it just fucking happens. Yeah. I've been drunk on a plane before. Yeah, you will be in a week. <laughs> That's a long flight. <laughs> Trust me. I know what to do. I'm really worried about this. <laughs> Just follow my lead. I'm going to try. He has follow. a system. I I'm going sy- to try. Does, don't drop the salad. The system <laughs> works. <laughs> That's an inside joke. I'm laughing No, no, no. It. No, so we get I've there. i told it on here before. We, I dropped it. We get times. there really early. Uh-huh. Okay. No, to no, the a whole story. <laughs> We get there really early, and they, but no, I fucking spilled wine on a dude one day, like red wine on a guy's jeans, and I gave him thirty dollars. Like so, I was just like, I'm really <laughs> me sorry. And Gary's wife flew in by ourselves while they were already in England one time, and she had never been before. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, she's like, "Well, what time we rode together?" Of and course, you're a vet. Yeah, and I've done it a couple times. So I'm, I'm like, "Well, what time should we get there? Flights at two. And I'm like, "Oh, I don't know, like eleven, you know, <laughs> or like yeah. you know." And she's just like, "Oh, okay." I didn't think I said eleven, but you know, whatever time I need to be there was like a little early. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "Okay," and I'm like, "Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go hit the bar first. Yeah, because Jarrett taught me how to go to England. Yeah, you hit. The- you go to the Gas Monkey. You drink. You drink a lot. A lot. You get on the plane. <laughs> you, you drink st- two red wines. No, you stay. Yeah, you stay up until your meal. Uh, and then you get and you get and you get two wines, and then you go to sleep, and then you wake up in England. And you're in, and you're in England. So we go, <laughs> so we go to the bar, and like I'm just like pounding vodka in sodas, England. right? And she gets like a margarita, and I'm just like, "Do you want another one?" She's like, "No," and I'm like, "You're not fucking doing it right." You know? <laughs> and so <laughs> we like get on the plane, and like somehow like we get like a row that's empty. It's just like the two of us. There's like three seats, and then her. And I fucking conk out on the other three seats, and she like couldn't sleep. She was awake the whole time, and I woke up, and we had thirty minutes left of the flight. Ten hours. <laughs> Damn. She's like, I have the. We're, we're not in the first class or anything. But like I had that, a horrible. Right? No, hangover. no. So we don't lay back or have any like big Dude, seats. Dude, you or anything, will be right? back there with the common folk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm only one, two rows behind you. I think. On the way out, I'm. I'm on the way back, we're all together. I put us all on one row. Oh, you did? Yeah. I already put you in your seat. Like you should be by. I changed my seat though. Oh shit! No, I. We were all. We were all. No, Wampus. No, but I I had you by somebody that uh, is with us. But I'm sitting next to her. So like the the we have a our situation sucks because we can either not sit together or one of us has to sit in the middle. Going going there, I changed my seat. You were. You were like over on the on the right side oh, on the aisle, that, and I put myself in the middle on the aisle. Okay, that, so I'm right. Oh, that's right. You. That's right. Well, that actually changed. I'm flying the plane now, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Casey will be serving the beverages. Okay, awesome. Casey will be drinking the beverages. Just because you didn't make any money on it doesn't mean that you failed at it. Lost a lot of money, all my money. You're so good at it. Oh well, let's change the subject. No more baking. I'm done. I don't know how you just can't do it anymore. If I wasn't a cop anymore, I would still go out Arrest with a gun <laughs> and shoot people. I probably wouldn't do that. I'm just trying to make it feel better. <laughs> you're okay, you know. You don't know me very well. I know you well enough to know that you're not so bad. You got some stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got bits and pieces going on. <laughs> Thanks. I've been thinking about you a little bit. About me? Really? There's something about you. There's something about you that sticks. You got some stuff and some things. <laughs> That's what I thought There's some of stuff when I going on. So a... they sleep together. Right. She stays the night. Yeah. And then he tries to make her his private chef. Right. Yeah, I thought that was a dick move. Yeah. That was terribly dickish. Well, A, it, this is complicated. Not for a first date. No, no, no. I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. But she wakes up in a... I, this is why it's even worse. She's waking up in a situation for the first time in a really long time where she's, it's okay that she slept over, you know, because she's in a long distance relationship apparently. Then she's with John Hamm, uh, who wants her to fucking go as soon as he's done, you know, which. Yeah, and this guy's bringing her coffee, which is super sweet. Super sweet. And you think, oh shit, man, 
This is great. And she has the baggage of, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to sleep over. Exactly. I'll go and because then, John Hamm wants me to go. And he's like, what? What are you talking about? Here's some coffee. But I, I don't, I, and I do agree. This is fucked up. This is terrible. And they were like out drinking the night before. Like she's like wakes up and like she's like, okay, now you have to stay longer, like, and I want you to cook for me. I thought he like made her <laughs> breakfast or something. And she had said, let's drop it like sixty times. Like, but so yeah. hold on, just one second. Here we go. It's means to shut up. So, I, what did you say? I said, this means to shut up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I, I get it. He, he really was trying to be sweet because he wasn't actually saying, bake me some shit. He was saying, like, let's spend the day together in the kitchen and, like, you show me what you do and all of that. She took it as... You know, obviously, like, I've been trying to tell you that I'm done with that. And I don't want to bake and, you know, yada, yada. But I don't know. I mean, it's like if I fucking quit the music industry and get a divorce and wake up in some chick's house and I go in the other room. You'll be dead long before then. And she <laughs> she is like, hey, you know what? I here's got a, a guitar. Here's a guitar. Sing me a song. You know, I'd be like... I, if I sing you a song, can I go do all that stuff again that we did? <laughs> you don't sing me songs. All the You're stuff go that sing I don't. Because we were drunk before. I don't remember any of that. Can we do it <laughs> do again, it again so I could catalog it? Because um, that's what you do if you're a boy. You have to catalog that shit just in case it doesn't happen again. You know what I mean? Because you have to sometimes have some usable material. The yeah. only time that this would have been appropriate is like if they like went on another date or he like he he, he invited her over to his house for dinner and then was like, "Let's like make dessert together. Let's make dessert together. Yeah. Together, not you make dessert for me." He said though. He said we're gonna bake together. Well, you're gonna do most of the baking and I'm gonna be eating. Again, I think this is terrible. This is the worst fucking move of all time. Right. Did it warrant? Her leaving and like never talking to him again? I don't think so. I feel like it, it, either two things would happen. Either she'd suck it up and just do it, or she'd be like, oh my God, I wish I could, but I've got to fucking be as immoral. Okay, here. but she was just fucking John Ham also. Well, you have to weigh that into the. Into her, well, I'm fucking someone who looks like John Hamm, and now I'm fucking this guy who looks well, I don't, not even close to him, but know. he's really no, sweet. Yeah, that's, the cop is nice. Okay? Yeah, of course he is. And I'm not saying that yeah. she shouldn't end up with him. I'm just saying give her two minutes to acclimate. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Why but, you saw the sex they had? It was not good. Her and John Hamm. Like, yeah, and she and every time she what? has sex with him, yo, she said it. And also, oh, sarcastic. <laughs> and also, every time she leaves that situation. She feels terrible about herself, about the situation. You know what I mean? Here is a deal where, hey, you woke up. Here's some coffee. I fucked up. I bought flour and baking powder. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, I say fucking, you know, let's fucking throw this shit at each other. And <laughs> get the goddamn Roomba out. Look for the wet spots. See what happens. I don't know. <laughs> what? You never know. Motherfucking Paris? Doing? I told you about Paris, Helen. I told you about this whole idea. Annie, calm no. down. Lillian, what are you going to go? You're going to go to Paris with Helen now? What are you going to? You guys going to ride around on bikes with berets and fucking baguettes in the basket of the front of your bikes? Oh, how romantic. <laughs> what woman gives another woman a trip to Paris? Am I right? Lesbian. We're all thinking it, aren't we? I'm not. Okay. Yes, we're all thinking it, right? I was. <laughs> Lillian, this is not the you that I know. The you that I know would have walked in here and rolled your eyes and thought this was completely over the top, ridiculous, and stupid. Look at the shower! Look at that fucking cookie! Did you really think that this group of women was gonna finish that cookie? Really? Oh, you know what? That reminds me, actually. I never got a chance to try that fucking cookie! Well, nobody got a chance to try the cookie. <laughs> it ended up in the uh, fucking chocolate... Grass fountain. <laughs> yeah. This is crazy, actually. So this scene made me uncomfortable. I didn't like it very much. It's this great. You, this made you uncomfortable? It made me anxious a little bit. <laughs> this is the scene that made me realize I am Kristen Wiig. Like yeah. If, like, if I was in this situation, I would react the same exact Would way. you or it, would you not, like, find a way to pull her aside and just be like, no, dude, God, no. what are you doing? This no. is crazy. No, I would make her feel bad in front of Everybody, if, be as petty as possible is the lifestyle I live by. Yeah. If, and, uh, <laughs> this is the way to do it, for sure. 
is she's right about Maya Rudolph in saying that, look, fucking two months ago, you would be scoffing at You'd this. Be I mean, they grew up together, then, so she Then right. she has, I think she has a legitimate right to be pissed about this because who the fuck goes from us making fun of this kind of bullshit to, and then you're, now you're buying into it? Does she have a right to be fuck pissed you. about it? Or does also, she have a right to fucking lose her shit in the middle of all this? Both. No, no one should ever. I mean, this no. is obviously. Oh, uh, and the fact that she st- stole the Paris idea. Like, even whenever you walked yeah. in, all the Paris, the Par- no, the, the gift For, thing, the Parisian mm-hmm, themed, right. like, even Jarrett went, ugh, like, yeah. damn. Oh, yeah, it made me uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah, with like her stealing the gift idea, the whole time kind of being excluded from the group, yeah. and then her best friend being like, "Oh my god, a trip to Paris!" Like, yeah. no, I would lose, I would lose it. The fucking butterfly and the invitation. I hated box. that. Oh, <laughs> that butterfly Jesus. would die. First of all, got yeah. the invitation was a box. That's yeah. a thing, though. <laughs> Is it really? Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I got kicked out of a wedding. What? Yeah. She did. So of a wedding party, not a wedding. Well. So I wondered if Casey would tell a few of the stories that she has because I am dying to hear this well, now. My she, eyes are like wide it's open. It's not that interesting, but it's it's pretty fucking interesting, actually. So and, I have a friend from a long time ago, and we have a tendency to every about I don't know, like four years, get in a fight that leads us to not speak for about a year, and then we go back <laughs> and like it's just a long time friendship, right? So she was getting married. And asked me to be her bridesmaid. That's me and my brother, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, I said yes. We've been friends forever. And then, <laughs> it just I don't know, it all fucking went to shit. So, one Saturday, she asked me to take off. I'm a hairstylist. Saturday's my big day, okay? Right, yep, yep, yep. Because she wanted to go bridesmaid dress shopping, right? And I had to be there. And everybody had to fucking be there at the same time mm-hmm. to pick out these dresses. So, I block off my Saturday, right? Mm-hmm. She cancels on me like, now, mid Saturday, oh. right? No, wait, 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 wait. Well, but Saturdays she's working at a barber shop where Saturdays Money. are. That's, that's the day, and right. I'm like, I mean, I'm living by myself and trying to pay my fucking rent. Right, and it's, you know, like that's yeah, when yeah. I make money. Big deal. So I block it off, and she b- cancels on me, right? Fuck. And I'm just like, fuck. So then, so she's like, let's do it the next Saturday that Casey's available. Okay, I can block off this Saturday. And like, mind you, like I'm working for somebody at this point. I'm not working for myself. Right. So trying to get off work on a Saturday is fucking impossible. Right. So I'm like, hey, it's this thing. Like, I have to do it. I block off the next Saturday and she fucking blows me off again. And I'd already canceled all my clients well, against the day. <laughs> so she goes, okay, well, we're going to move it to the, when's the next Saturday you're available? I'm like, we can't do it on a Sunday. Well, so-and-so can't do Sundays. And I was like, fuck that. I don't need to be there then. And it turned into this whole like, uh, fuck you know, her. and I was just like, why can't you not understand? This? Fuck you. <laughs> she might. I told, her, I told her I was telling this story. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Okay. Get, and then. And then I got reinvited. Well, no, you didn't say that she kicked you out. Oh, so she kicks till she's like, fine, like, if you're going to be this way, then be out of my fucking wedding. And I was like, I would be happy to be out of your shitty fucking wedding <laughs> and not spend money on this <laughs> shitty fucking dress that you say, ooh, it was going to dress that you can wear again sometime. Nobody's going <laughs> to fucking wear the Nobody dress again. Nobody wears the Nobody wears again. the shitty no, the, fucking the dress best ever part is, again. She's the best part is shitty fucking wedding and shitty fucking dress. Yeah, it's so, the best. Anyway, I get kicked out of the wedding party pretty abruptly. <laughs> Yeah, and I didn't get invited again until about two days before the wedding to go to the wedding. Not in the, right, I wasn't not a bridesmaid. Yeah, you know <laughs> what happens with dudes? Never that. Never that. It never happens ever. Yeah, there's so many things that go along that that happen in the world of of women, and like it, and I think maybe. Just because Casey and I are so open and honest with one another, like maybe I have a new appreciation for all of it because it's fucking crazy. I mean, it's like some teenage shit all the time, mm-hmm. you know? And she works in a situation where there's just women. where there's females all the time. Also, you know, like that obviously her friends are all friends that she grew up ones. with, you know? John the bass player is one of my best friends. He, you know, I was part of his wedding. But mm-hmm. uh, if I if it was on a Saturday and I was working on the Saturday, I go, dude, I'm sorry, I just can't do it. It wasn't <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah, would totally. She do wouldn't it. do it. Like, and here we go. That's cool. She wouldn't budge for it. And I mean, I literally, I mean, I'm freaking like 20, and like I probably lost my rent and money like right, on that. You right. know, like luckily I'd say. I mean, I was just like, you don't understand. Right. This isn't super relevant, but yeah. I want to tell you all the story of her wedding. Remember that guy that like moved in with me without asking for like six weeks. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. He just slowly started bringing shit to my house and like just never left. It was super weird. Like it became like almost a social experiment where at work they'd be like, did he leave? And I'm like, he's fucking still there. I have no idea. (laughs) And so then all of a sudden he's just there. They were just dating. I love this story. And so (laughs) I get re-invited to Sarah's (laughs) wedding. That's that dress that you thought was Emma's because it looks like it would fit me as a fucking leg warmer now. Right. And (laughs) he's supposed to go. I I had down a plus one because he was going to go to the wedding with me because, you know. Right. Booze. Booze. And so he drives to the wedding. He doesn't have a car. Of course not. So he usually just uses mine to go screw his ex-girlfriend. And so he drove (laughs) to the wedding. I swear to God, this is true. I get out of the car and he says, yeah, I'm probably not going to go to this and just left with my car. Like what? past the wedding, he like got dressed for the wedding and then was just like, I just don't think I'm like filling this today, and like took my fucking car. What? Yeah. Mm. Did you never see him again after this? Yeah, he got all his shit kicked out in the rain outside of my apartment that night. That night. Awesome. Mm. Thank but you. Uh, like literally, like in the rain, and he was just like, "You're acting like a child." I'm like, "You're a 30 year old mooching off of a child." So what does that make you exactly? And he's just like, <laughs> "All right, that's weird. Good point. See you later." But yeah, that's that really did fucking happen. Wow. It was crazy. I fucking hate that guy. Yeah. Ever since you got engaged, everything's turned to shit. You know what? This is supposed to be about my time. You have managed to ruin every event in my wedding. Thank you very much. Okay, well, thank you very much. It's all her fault. It is not mine. And you would know that if you got your beautiful haired head out of your asshole. In fact, out of her asshole, which I'm sure is perfectly bleached. You know what? It is. And you know how I know? Because I went to the fucking salon with her and I got my asshole bleached too. And I love my new asshole. Right. I wonder what a bleached ass, like I wonder what it feels like when you get the bleach on the asshole. Me and my friends talk about this regularly. Like we want to do it. Yes, thank you. This should be more of a common thing. I just, for the experience. I just want to know. It's a conversation at work all the time. Yeah, no, it's like, I don't, no, like I just want to know what it's like. Why? That's it. One of the girls at work like constantly just talks cuts. about having an asshole bleaching party. Like she's like, we can just all figure out how to do it. They should have home kits for sure. This should be a total thing that everyone does. I don't feel like I need mine bleached. So uh, we were rolling through South Carolina, <laughs> and uh, we were we were still in a van actually. The uh, the band Bowling for Soup. You guys listening may have heard of that band. Nope. Yes, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you work for that band now. So we went to this uh, strip club at which you could have lunch and also watch girls, you know, <laughs> well, get naked. And uh, so at the at the time, uh, my guitar tech, his name was Sweet Charlie, and he was the absolute best, but he was just a friend from home, and we taught him what to do, and he did it. <clears throat> Turns out this place was all nude, and... Uh, the hilarity started with uh, with essentially the the guy who was taking us out uh, to that lunch uh, worked for Jive Records. His name was Hurricane, and uh, we go into this all nude cafe. It was in a double wide trailer in the middle of South Carolina, and uh, as the first girl is there with her stuff and her things in front of him, he ordered the tuna sandwich. True story. I thought that was the most hilarious thing I would hear all day until this girl came up and nakedly bent over in front of us and touched her toes and then spread it all there for us. And sweet Charlie looked over at me and leaned in. He just said, that thing didn't start out, Brown. Oh, no. (laughs) And... I laughed so fucking hard that I fucking literally got into a, like a coughing fit, and that was the end of my lunch. So, once I heard of all this asshole bleaching, I thought to myself how that girl could probably use that right in her life. Perhaps she needs her asshole bleached. Perhaps. You know, I don't know. Are you crazy? All of that stuff, that would have been dangerous for a good driver. I'm sorry, I just, I really, I need your help. We can't find Lillian. How long has she been gone? She's been missing for like 12 hours. 12 hours? It's not a missing person until it's at least 24 hours. Have you ever seen CSI? 24 hours. Let me get on with my job, Annie. Nathan, please. I really need your help. So this scene is actually fucking incredible. 
Jared, where, you you missed the part about how she was talking about how she doesn't have any female friends. Right. And then she's like, why are you smiling? Yeah. It's like the first time I've seen you uh, ugly. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever. And she, I figured you'd clip that part, but I guess you didn't. No. And then, she, but anyway, she, and then she looks, looks at her though. Right. And goes, uh, but I'm not really ugly. You know? <laughs> yeah, but you are. But I'm not. But, but you I'm, are. But I'm, but I'm not. No, but you really are. It's, you know, you're ugly. But this I've, got one, a, I've got an ugly cry face. I'm fine with it. Dude. <laughs> so we watched this show called uh, Teen Mom OG. Oh, that dude was at yeah. me. I'm like, it's not that ugly. I mean, it's Jesus just no time. Christ. And there are this mother daughter combination who have the ugliest cry faces I've ever fucking have seen. Have you ever seen Kim Kardashian's cry face? No. It's pretty bad. You need to. She's it's like kind of known for it. Ugliest cry face ever. How is that even possible? No, I'm telling you. Yeah. You, like, she, like, she mushes up her face in it. every way it's not supposed to go. It just gets all distorted. And she's like, it's so bad. It's like, so oh my bad. God. No, I haven't it. seen that. You need to see and it. And nobody takes her seriously. Like, she's like crying and they like right, throw her phone like, in the toilet. Yeah. She's cried because she like, she <laughs> no, cried because one no, of her diamond earrings. Downstairs from one of her cabin. diamond earrings fell into the like the water and she's like, my diamond earring. And, and like, her sister's like, like, there are starving people. Yeah, it's like, Kim, there are people dying in the world. Yeah. like, that makes a lot of sense. Well, and the producer told her to put it in the toilet and cry about it. <laughs> I think that one was legitimate. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking so true, man. <laughs> yeah. What happened? This whole wedding is fucked up. Alan just took over everything and everything's kind of control. My dad can't afford the wedding and this, this has been really hard to do without you. It's it's been shitty. I'm sorry. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I kicked you out of my wedding. It's my fault. Yeah. Well, break you know free, what? Break from the chains. Hey, that fixed wedding dress was hideous. The what? The fixed. It was better than before. Yeah. Well, it was better than before. They had to deal that, with it. They had to deal with what they worked with. I'm know? sorry, but she's not she, like a fucking seamstress. Did she not see a picture of the dress before she bought it from France? No, she went to Paris to f- try it on. Yeah. Right. So I don't understand how it also, now it was all Helen of a sudden who took over. Helen like, took over and was just probably like, "This is the perfect, most yeah. but expensive, extravagant." Okay. Like that. Okay. That. Okay. It's like buying like a Panina Tornado dress. It can be the ugliest dress in the world, but it's Panina Tornado, so you're going to buy it. I guess. Do you have a Panina Tornado dress? I do Tornay, not, not yet, Tornado. But the mm. It's not Tostino's chips. Panini Tornado. That sounds delicious. That has mm-hmm. to be something delicious, what? right? Panini yeah. Tornado? Yeah. It probably has Dude, peanut butter and Whatever salt. that is, is delicious. We need to figure that shit out. I already have it planned in my head. <laughs> oh my God. It's like, a cone. I'll start there. It's like our next party, the Panini Tornado party. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, that sounds amazing. China yeah. Phillips is so hot. Do you guys not know who the fuck so, I'm talking about? No, no, no. I, 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 I agree, but I always like the redheaded one. Uh, she, I had a little thing for her because yeah. I like redheads. Who's yeah. China Phillips? She's the middle girl. She is Grace Slick's the daughter. Middle girl. Grace Slick's daughter. Who? So, Grace. The short-haired Wilson Phillips twins. Twins, whatever. No, no, no. Oh, I don't know. Okay, Wilson Phillips no, are... Not twins, I know. There's... Yeah. China Phillips is the middle, and then Carney, and then the redhead Wilson. Right, and the Wilson sisters are Brian Wilson from the Beach Boys' daughters. Daughters, and then China Phillips is Grace Slick from Jefferson Starship and Jefferson Airplane. Right, we built this city like ba ba. We built this city on rock and roll. Built this city. You have city. a parody that you sing of that, and I can't figure out what the fuck it was. No, I don't think I do a parody. No, of that you one. did. Do I? I'm pretty sure you would have one. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. I, you guys don't fucking. It's literally know me. we ba 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 ba, and then you fit in anything you're doing at that moment. No, you guys are fucking. No, confusing. you have one. You can make a parody of anything. So like a we made this you. sandwich. I mean, I'm almost positive you've said that in right. your life. Panini tornado of rock and roll. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All that shit. Uh, yeah. China Phillips. She did fine. So right. good. It's so weird that that song came out when I was in like eighth grade. Right. You I know? want to know the song now. By the way, like it's like a dream of mine to like learn the song. It's a really good song. It, it sounds like a good jam it's and good. out. It's it is a, a good. It's a big request. It was a huge hit. It's actually a big request on the Bowling for Soup fan page for me to do a cover of that song. Oh, really? Yeah, and I have thought about it. Don't you know? Make a change. <laughs> Things will go your way. Is that pretty good? Or? Yeah, it's okay. good. Well, it felt good. 
I like the fact that you like China Phillips with like no other like oh, you had dude, nothing else. Like, did you research it or what? She's super hot. Yeah. No, I liked her from way back when. Uh, so the wedding falls apart, right? We've we've actually forgot to talk about the movie this podcast, by the way. Eh, uh, right. The the wedding falls apart, and that's you know why because she put her trust in someone that wasn't a fucking actual friend. Right. She, or a real person who does normal things. Right. right. She put her trust in the convenient friend. Well, the yeah, and friend. somebody that had a shit ton of money but wasn't paying for it. And no yeah. life, so she could just plan a party like that. And actually, the dad comes into play quite a bit. Like, he's, yeah, he's like, I'm not paying for I'm that. I'm not paying for that. Like, he's being... I'm not joking. I'm not... Yeah, I am not kidding. Was he... You guys think I'm being funny. Was there some significance in him? Like, is he some real person or he something? He is. So he is actually a... <laughs> is he a real person? Well, because... <laughs> he used to be known as the jazz comedian or whatever, but okay. he's been on a ton of shit. I just thought it was He didn't always have the dreadlocks, though. Yeah, it was just interesting that he had braids because that felt like it threw it off, but so I figured he had to be some kind of a person that everyone would go, oh my God, that's so-and-so or something like that. He is, uh, his name's Frank Franklin Ayai. And he was in like a bunch of movies back at like Car Wash. Do you remember that back in the day? Actually, he was in The Burbs. I don't remember in The Burbs. Oh. You guys. Um, Didn't you guys do The Burbs? We yeah, did we The did. Burbs. You guys won't know that he was in this because you've never seen it. But he was in a movie where the theme song went like this. <laughs> Looks like we got ourselves a con, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Two verses. Let's go. Now we got a great big convoy rolling through the night. You started that one kind of Chuck E. Cheesy. We got a great big convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? That it? Convoy. Just two. Convoy. And then we're done. Okay. We're out. Okay, got it. <laughs> I got it. Okay, I'm picking up on this. I am picking up on this. He was also in Stir Crazy with Gene Wilder and... Uh, oh. Yeah. Richard was he in the jail cell? That was kind of racist, probably. Uh, he was, yes, he was. Uh, <laughs> I think he was, he was. definitely he was. in a jail cell. Yes, he was. <laughs> but uh, like you know, he's been around forever. And and Richard Pryor, sorry, but he's like on Twitter and shit. You can follow him and see what he's doing. So go I'll do check that. out. Go maybe. check out that guy. Or maybe not. The wedding was cool, but also really cheesy. Do yeah, like the just, water. They were standing in water, so the bottom of her dress was soaking wet. Yeah, totally. Which made her feet cold. Well, she yeah. changed her dress after that anyway because she had a reception dress. If you noticed. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. Now you would actually know about this if you watched this show called Four Weddings. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's my show. This show is so oh, we good. We spent so much time trying to find I, it. I like, think I've recorded. seen one episode. It's not on demand, but it is fucking awesome. I love that show. I wouldn't say that. He got sucked into it for like a full day. Uh, yeah, they watched a marathon of it, and I was working from Don't home. Like you weren't there watching. No, I us. did. I'm like working. I'm like fucking. First of all, it starts with me up here. I walk like walk by, then then it's me at the at the table with the computer, and they're still watching. It. And then it's me on the couch, and then <laughs> and it's just, Emma's like upstairs, and it's just me. Yeah, and, and then it's just me and me and Casey just watching it. Just, like, just like, are there still more of these? Like, we've got to fucking keep watching this. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> Hey, how did everything go? Oh. Strangely well. Oh, good. Mm. So I ate your cake. That you left. You did? Yeah. I mean, I had to fight some raccoons off. But that's okay. I'm pretty strong and tough, so it wasn't much of a contest. So that might have been... I'm just going to kiss you now rather than just... First of all, uh, so I ate your cake... Lies. Yeah, lies. It, well, They're already uh, starting the relationship out on. But also, lies. if you say that to a girl like after a night or whatever, like that, she could have just been like, "Where are you going with this?" Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, like I remember. Yeah, I remember that. You remember, <laughs> and then you tried to put that thing in my fucking. By the face. way, I have HPV, and you probably have cancer <laughs> and hepatitis. Here's but. the thing: this fucking movie, I loved it. I really did. I laughed so much. I, I did not think I would like it. I, I can't didn't believe like we it. haven't seen this. I really A, didn't. you love Kristen Wiig. I do love her. This is the funniest movie she's ever been in. I love her, but I don't really know. I don't really watch a lot of her movies. I mean, I didn't. I mean, I watched that fucking Ghostbusters fiasco, and oh, I did not did. think it was oh, really good. Horrible. Well, I watched it with my son. But it was really bad. I mean, I didn't think it was as bad as everybody else thinks it is, but I didn't really like it very much. But as, as I'm like. Watch, like, even just the feed on our Facebook, 
leading into doing this podcast, I was, you know, we had a little bit extra time. I like saw like big fans of our podcast going, oh my God, this movie sucks. This movie shit. I yeah, saw yeah. that too. And I was I really it. surprised. I, I didn't like this movie. Really? I I think the only, like I laughed at like a couple, mainly Melissa first McCarthy. First time you've seen it or no? Yeah. First time I've seen okay. it. The only, like I laughed at Melissa McCarthy, obviously. And the only scene that I like truly laughed and could not control myself was when they were trying on the bridesmaid's dress. Well, the poop thing. Yeah. yeah. But, and then the funniest part to me out of the whole thing was when the movie was over and it was the credits. Right. And it was Melissa McCarthy and then the dance scene. Right. That was oh, the only I think part. That, I That's think, the unrated Jared, Did you version. watch that? No. That's the unrated version. The credits, the credits is funny. No, we no. had that. It was her and her husband and they're like, She's got the sandwich. And I got up. Yeah. Okay. So at the very end, yeah, it's Melissa McCarthy and she's back with like the air marshal and right. she's in like, a trailer. And she's like in a trailer, like set up some camera. And it's like, this is our first sex video. And <laughs> or, this is our first time having sex. This is video number something, something. <laughs> and she's got some big sandwich and she's like, be a hungry bear. And it's, just, it's so funny. I, I mean, I laughed the whole time. I really did. I d- very seldom do I. I thought it was hysterical. Very seldom do I. Uh, so I take notes on my phone during the movie. Uh, to all of these and only a couple of times have I just put my phone down and just said fuck it I'm just gonna enjoy the movie and I laughed hysterically Mm. like most of it and I thought all of it was really good I didn't think there was a real lull in it like again you know I talk about it all the time there's just always a dip I didn't feel like that happened. Well, Kristen Wiig has that subtle comedy yep. that's super funny, yep. and then and then obviously the outrageous moments like sure. the, like the bridal shop and right. her on top of the fence and stuff like that. And then there's just like the, yeah, exactly. And then there's the one liner after one liner. It's like there weren't any comedy duos that they set up in this for us, even her and the Helen character or whatever that didn't work, right? You know, and the and the fucking roommates, such a funny addition to it. Um, the mom, holy sweet Jesus, that mom is so fucking funny. And uh, man, I really, 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 really liked it. I would watch it again for sure. So I think we can we can finally pass off the baton to Ryan. As the new rich. As the new rich that hates everything. <laughs> I, this, she saw that coming. I'm two out of two on two movies. Out I is that true? Hated yeah, she hated pink. the last one too. I didn't like Pretty in Pink. Oh my I didn't God. like this one. <laughs> Holy shit. But if we do 10 things I hate about you, just listen here. I'm going to be loving it. So. I'll take it back. Oh, my goodness. We should have her. Now we can't do it. She has a character. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, I do want to thank everybody for sharing our alien post on Facebook. Uh, specifically, Jake Bradford, Mark Ryan, Barry Ferguson, Kevin Bay Anderson, who will be a sponsor of the show coming nice. up very, very soon. Ashley C., Sean Umbeck, Angie Thorin, Tim Toole, Radon James, Winnie Croft, and Paul Gonzalez. And anyone else I missed, but I'm pretty sure I got it right. Um, you know what? And uh, Let's check the Facebook page. So, Bobby Johnson writes, Hi, guys. Okay, so I've listened to you guys from the beginning, and I'm sorry it's taken me this long to get in touch. I just wanted to say thank you. I have not had the best luck this the past year, or so I got made redundant from my dream job, and since the turn of the year, had some severe health issues, which has been really rough for me, hence this message i really wanted to thank all of you guys even you rich for not (laughs) only being part of my weekly events in between hospital and doctor appointments but helping me through a tough time uh all through january and february i listened in my hospital bed in april thinking about it and it helped me get through now i'm back home and still along the way from recovery but look forward to fridays each and every week also, I am gutted to miss the Bowling for Soup at Slam Dunk Fest. Will be the first time I've missed a Bowling for Soup Midlands UK show. Midlands UK? Is that England? Yes. Okay. It's a spot in the UK. It'd okay. be like a territory. Got it. I missed a Bowling for Soup Midlands UK show for some time. Anyways, thank you for the music, Jarrett, and thank you, everyone involved with the podcast. As soon as I get back uh, to my feet and some money, I will pledge and get a shirt. See you down the road, Bobby. Oh, Bobby, that's awesome. I hope you feel better. Thank you so much for the heartfelt message. Again, I, I say this all the time. I think uh, I think it's pretty obvious. We love doing this podcast. It's like the part of my week that I'm just not like 
God damn it. We have to I, actually watching the movie is sometimes a chore. Right. Talking about it is never a chore. No. This is fucking great. No, this and is, uh, this is my social life right here. Yeah. Well, and Bobby, uh, you know, sending mojo over the uh, over the broadcast airwaves, hoping that you feel better very, very soon. Well, sorry that we'll miss you at Slam Dunk, but A, you should come see me in September on my Hearts and Hilarity tour. And also, uh, there will be more Bowling for Soup tour dates announced before you know it. So uh, hang in there. Keep rocking. Keep listening. Thank you so very much. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this has been an, a uh, our 80th episode of Jarrett Goes to the Movies. And I just want to say, um, it, this is definitely my top 80 movies <laughs> that we've watched for sure. You can find us on the web at JarrettGoesToTheMovies.com. We're also Jarrett Movies on Twitter and Instagram. You can suggest and vote for future episodes on Reddit at R Jarrett Goes to the Movies. And obviously we're on Facebook, YouTube, and everything else by searching Jarrett Goes to the Movies. Find me on all the socials at J A R E T 2113. Find Rich on all the socials at Rich Coleman TX. Find Casey on the socials using Casey Yant and Will with one L, Will Vark. And uh, Ryan the intern with social media. Coming at you very, very soon. Uh, thanks, Ryan, for being here. Okay. Thanks, Casey, for being the best. Rich, thanks for being fucking awesome. I like you more than a friend. Everybody else, thanks for listening. We will see you down the road. Yeah.